Flip City family, what is up? It is Bobby and Art coming at you live from the Flav City kitchens on a Friday night for the one and only, say it with me together, hashtags Friday with Flay, yay, 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 yay. Tonight's gonna be maybe the most adventurous menu yet. We have a ton of work to do. We're making the heartiest winter dinner. That's keto, paleo, so darn delicious. We're doing it with my friends over at Thrive Market. We're giving away five memberships to Thrive. We have pasture raised pork. It doesn't get more exciting than this. Just ask yourself this question. It's Friday evening at 4.30. Where do you wanna be, work? No, you're done, check out for the day. Where do you wanna go? A happy hour with your friends? No, you wanna drink that horrible drink and overpriced sugary cocktails? No, you wanna hang out in the kitchen with Arthur T. Almacy, me, your boy Flav, Desi and Rose over on the play mat over there because we're gonna have a great time. So before we get started, you know the drill. Uh, what's the drill? Oh yeah, check. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. I love seeing how far around the world all y'all are watching from. And let us know if you can hear me. But also let me know, where am I? <laughs> Art's right there. By the way, let me get the camera. Everyone say hello to one and only Uncle Farturo. So, hey, everybody. Somebody just coined a new one. They said, what's up, Flav Army? Flav Army? Flav wow. Army, Everyone yeah. say hi to the lovely Desi and Rose Honey. Flav Army, wow. That's a good one. I'm gonna stick to Flav City family because Army to me is like an esteemed thing that like I have such high thoughts of them that like I don't want to consider like we're Army members because they're so such patriots. So, but I like where you're going. Um, we got Central Coast Cali, Toronto in the house, Chicago, my girl Amy's here. We got Luisa from Denver, Montreal, oh, today be in. Wow, these are piling in chicken nuggies from chicago we're are flying in left and right amazing you guys I love that. so i hope we break another record today like sure. we did on wednesday how fun was that uh shop that was along at the grocery fun. store but there's only one way to do that what's that to share share so we're gonna get started but as it goes along the live stream share take the link for the live stream share it over to instagram stories facebook all that good stuff um but let's get started so we're making hearty pork chili in the pressure cooker we're gonna mix some stuff in the thermal mix and we're gonna make keto biscuits. This recipe is straight out of the best-selling cookbook, Keto Meal Prep by Flav City. I mean, look at this. Who would have thought this is a keto diet recipe that you can eat when you're trying to lose weight, eat no grains, you know, cut out inflammatory foods. This, along with all the other recipes, are why it's doing so well and it's all because of you. And I'm really excited because look at this pork. We're using three kinds of pasture raised pork. You guys know I love Thrive Market. Now they're in the meat game. We're gonna use this Boston butt, which is the shoulder, two pounds. I wanna use a couple of these baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back ribs here. <laughs> and we're gonna use some of this. This is my obsession, pasture raised pork bacon. What makes it pasture raised? It's uh, free to forage, free to pasture. Look at the ingredients, sugar free, beautiful ingredients non-GMO, GAP4 certified, this bacon, these pigs get a supplemental feed of acorns, nuts, and uh, eggs, pasture-raised eggs. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorite goodies from Thrive, but I want you to get this pork so bad. I put a link in the description box. I'm gonna talk about it throughout the time. If you click that link and get a one-year membership, you get a $20 shopping credit you can use towards this pork bundle. And stay tuned, we're gonna give away five three-month memberships all throughout the live stream. What's up, Art? Mr. Kevin R is here and he says, Dave Matthews Band. <laughs> no, is he so there? We wanna know, how many shows have you seen since the last time we talked Yes, to you? we talk about you. We're very, very curious. Okay, let's get started. I did a couple things before we got rolling. Smell this, you guys. This is, this is amazing. It's so smoky. This is two dried chipotle peppers sitting in water. And this is gonna be the base of our flavor bomb for the chili. Now, I have a trivia question to come right off of the start here. Look, Art, these are chipotle chili, chilies. If we had smell vision which hopefully YouTube can do soon, you would stick your nose in there, and Anita and Alicia and Anna would be like, <gasps> And you'd be like, wow, it's so smoky. Trivia one for the night, of many probably. What is a chipotle pepper? In its dried state, it's called a chipotle. In its fresh state, what is it called? Art's gonna monitor comments. Uh, I'm gonna start adding some bacon to the pressure cooker back here that has some, or some onions that has some bacon in there. We got Cleveland in the house, Michigan in the house. Nice. Chicago suburbs saw some nice. Hills saw some Des Plaines. Raleigh, North Carolina, Stockton, California. Love it. 
Jalapeno, jalapeno, jalapeno. Taylor, Taylor says poblano. Jalapeno, jalapeno, poblano, poblano, jalapeno. It's jalapeno. So chilies are really funny because when they're fresh, they're called one thing. When they're dried, they're called another. So a jalapeno is fresh. A dried and smoked one is a chipotle. A poblano is fresh, which I actually have one here. And an ancho chili is the dried version of that. So that's going to be a lot of flavor. But you guys, this chili... It's not your traditional one because we don't have beans or anything, so it's, it's Texas style, right, Art? Yeah. This is Texas style chili. And let me show you how we cut the red onion. Let's stay there for an Art. Yeah, he, In case yeah. you're new to the channel, let's make some room here for everyone. Sorry. So, have, have the onions. Take your knife. Come closer, I can't see it. You're, you're, I can't come closer, I gotta use this. Take your knife, run it plankwise like this. Perch your fingers on top like a scarecrow. Then turn your knife and go sticks down like that. Keep your fingers back. No one wants to go to the emergency room when they're making game day chili. And then once you do that, perch your fingers on top, but keep it back like a claw. Make one more knife cut down and voila, you have perfectly diced red onions. And by the way, I thought it'd be perfect timing to share this recipe because the Super Bowl is coming up in like nine days. Who's going to win? I really have no idea. Which is kind of exciting because I feel like between San Fran and Kansas City, it's like a lot of new territory, right? Now, Art, go back there and show everyone what's in this pressure cooker basin here. I said we're going to have three kinds of pork here. The first kind of pork is already cooking there. That is about two slices of the Thrive Market pasture-raised bacon. I gave it a head start before we started because I want it to get slightly crispy because now I get to cook the red onions in the bacon fat and art. Doesn't that sound like a good thing? Oh yeah. Right, that's a good thing. So pump up the heat. And it's really nice to do this in the pressure cooker because what would take three hours takes about 35 to 40 minutes. And as much as I love hanging out with you, the battery on my new iPhone would die in four hours and you would get very tired of hearing my voice. Well, what if we were cooking what Laurel Mar was cooking, just cooking up some three-hour bolognese for your cookbook. Are you see serious, Laura? Ooh, Art's waiting until we do that next. I don't know how we're going to do that one. Maybe I'll pressure cook it or something. But that, you let me know how that goes. Tag, send Art and I a message on Instagram. So a little bit of salt goes in there. Art, I have a question. Do you like the pepper? I like the pepper. I like the pepper. Let's put some black pepper in here. <laughs> yes, he's cracking up. Okay, so here's the deal. We're going to cook that down in the bacon fat. Then we're going to add the flavor bomb. What is he talking about? A flavor bomb? I'll tell you right now. doesn't sound legal. We got 709 people, Art. We're having a good time. In case you just joined, we're making the comfort, hardiest winter dish ever that's perfect for the Super Bowl. We're making pork chili with three kinds of pork. And we're going to serve that with my Red Lobster Cheddar Bay biscuits that are keto. And it's going to be delicious. We're going to hang out. And we're using this beautiful Thrive Market Bacon, baby back ribs, and uh, pork shoulder. Okay, now here's where things get interesting. This is the chipotle peppers that we reconstituted in hot water. I'm going to not use my fingers because if you Gracie, touch peppers sure. and then That's touch your sure. eye or something else, other private part, you're gonna be in trouble. I'll take both peppers and I'll take, you know, I'll just use the whole thing here, the soaking liquid. That's a tea. That's a, that's a Texas tea. Brad Parham says, Bobby, two slices of bacon is a sin. Well, Brad, look at this. We got all this other bacon from Thrive Market going in here right now. So you don't worry about it. Now, I'm looking at the recipe here from the book. It says, put the chilies in a blender. I have my uh, Thermomix. Add the soaking liquid. Add three cloves of garlic right here. And a Steph Curry. Boom. One for one. Don't miss. Two for two. Fade away at the buzzer. Oh, oh my God, I blew the game. I blew the game. No. Okay. <laughs> that, I didn't have to do the fade away and I did it. It's trying to be dramatic. Um, now we got to put in spices. All right, these are my spices I'm using for my Southwestern inspired Texas chili, y'all. We got ancho chili powder, cumin, cinnamon, oregano, and smoked paprika. Ancho chili powder is a really interesting one. This is not chili powder. Generic chili powder is a blend of many different chilies. This is specifically ancho, which is the that dried be, version. That would be C-H-I-L-I, right? Chili powder? Uh, I thought it's with an E. Chili, 
chili powder, the blend is typically C H I L I. Oh yes, yeah, good point. This would be C H I L I. Good point. Chili powder. This is a poblano pepper in here, right? That's the fresh one I just roasted, and this is the dried version of that. So once again, even more confusion. L A V. He's not Michael Jordan either. <laughs> Said you're not LeBron. No, LeBron. Forget about LeBron. I'm all about Jordan, baby. Jordan's the greatest. Now we'll put a teaspoon-ish of all of these spices in there. So, a little bit of the ancho. Ancho's not too spicy either, which is why I like it. It's people like a spicy laugh, raisin. People laughing about your southern accent. I do the worst accents, but I love them, right? My worst accent, I think, is my, my Scottish one. How hot do you think this is going to be? It's not. Somebody I don't else. like spicy recipes, so it's not that hot. Oh, it's got breaking news, y'all. Mandy Tro kicking off the super chat with $1.99. Mandy, you for everything you thank you so here. much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You are too sweet. A little bit of cinnamon, right? I think cinnamon in savory recipes like this is really lovely. The key is just to use a little, not too much, otherwise it gets too like a dessert chili. Michelle Brissett, who I think she said she's watching from Australia, but she says, I'm keen to hear Bobby do an Australian accent, please. Yeah, also very <laughs> uh, good eye, mate, watching in Aussie. I hope you have a spot tea down there and you're safe in the wildfires, mate. <laughs> a Vegemite sandwich for Brucky, eh? Are and beans, an avocado are beans, toast. Are beans not beans are not keto, Taylor, and they're not uh, paleo or keto. Y'all need more cumin than chili powder. Um, we do equal amounts. So we got ancho. So we did it all, right? Now we're going to take this and blend it up into a paste. Spot of tea is English. So cute. Yeah, I got confused mid, uh, mid-sentence there, right? So we'll blend that up. Let me check how my... I think he just upset a lot of Aussies. I've been known to do that. No corn in your chili either? What's that? No corn in nope. your chili. Corn's not keto or paleo. Listen, you can do it. It doesn't matter. I just want to make this just like I did in the cookbook here, right? Where there's no corn, there's no beans, but you don't care. Because there's in the book, there's actually brisket. We're using the pork tonight. But when you put it with these favorite biscuits of Arthur, they're delicious. Yes, they are. Absolutely delicious. Uh, Seattle's in the house. You guys keep leaving comments down below. We want to know where you're watching from. Take the link to this live stream. Share it over to your farmers only profile, your Christian singles, your Instagram stories, your Facebook. Where else do you want to be on a Friday night? And the answer is nowhere. You want to hang out with me and Art. How do you make your ancho chili powder? Uh, I don't. I buy it. You can't make it yourself. It's too hard. Do you know of any good vegan mayo that has no avocado oil? Yes, get the uh, vegan A's with the expeller pressed canola or grapefruit, uh, grapeseed oil. Either one's fine. Okay. So I thought I'd turn that on. Okay. Omaha, Nebraska, and Omaha. Now we also have five memberships of Thrive to give away. So I'm going to have to think of a trivia. Thrive about a month. Then they're a longtime supporter of the channel. <laughs> This is one of my favorite items. Look at my box here. This is my latest shipment. What's in your box? This is the organic grass-fed ghee from Thrive. It tastes and smells like movie theater butter. It's delicious, There's right? There's a lot of ghee in there. There's a lot. I got three of them because we go through them. No, I love the really Thrive really. Market coconut milk because it has no guar. It's just pure coconut. And then I got some uh, coconut butter because Desi's going to make some keto fat bread sometime soon. And I got some coconut milk powder because I want to make some keto sugar-free hot chocolate for the winter, right? So it's absolutely great. And even if you don't get one of the three memberships, I put the link down in the description box. I want you to try the pork bundle and you can get a $20 shopping credit when you sign up for a, for a, for a year membership. And here's the deal. If you don't like Thrive in the first 30 days, just cancel. You'll get your money back, but you get to keep the 20 bucks and you can get the pork bundle that has the bacon, Boston butt, pork sausage, and everything. But you won't like it. You'll love it. You'll love it. Breaking news, Bobby. Breaking news? Michelle Crozier Kiaha, $1.99. Pork, pork, fat pork fat rules. Emerald. That's what I'm talking Thank about, girl. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm going to blitz this up. It's like the men's warehouse. You're going to like the way the pork tastes. I, I guarantee, guarantee it. it. <laughs> Too bad that guy got fired from his job. They ousted him. This smells so good. You have onions cooking with bacon. It's like, come on, come on, come on. 
Did you Feel notice it. that you're up 5K more subscribers since yesterday? Only I did notice. Only to 1 million. Thank you for notice. You guys, the month of January, like I said in the live stream on Wednesday, has been bananas. This is bananas too. Don't taste it because it's pretty aggressively seasoned right now, but this will be the base from our chili. Yeah, there's yeah, some it's, aroma going on there. It's, good. <clears throat> it's crazy, but it also has that cinnamon that kind of flutters in the air. Really nice. Somebody pointed out that uh, Thrive gives, gives some like military... Uh, uh, discounts yeah. they give military discounts and Something every like membership that. that's paid like what i do they give a free membership to a family who uh, is low income because they want people to get non-gmo organic products and pretty much everything you get at the grocery store you can get a little cheaper on thrive and they have a price scanner on the app or it's using my phone but you can scan anything at the store it'll tell you if it's cheaper on thrive market or give a better alternative alan girl wants to know will johnny come by tonight alan uh, girl's yeah, i'm here. planning on having john come up at 6 30. Uh, maybe I'll see if I can plan it so you guys can see them too. All right, so onions are going back there. We got to peel the tomatillos and then put everything in the pot and then brown the beef. So I better hurry up here. Art's got breaking news in the meantime. Our friend Dirk. Dirk! Dollars. Does oh. Art have a PhD, a PhD hate in the pack? <laughs> and 1800 live stream. I do not hate 1800 people on the live stream. I just didn't think that we were going to reach that in the I know, right? grocery store hall two days ago. Art was so. a doubting Thomas. I don't mind being wrong when it comes to that. Okay, I'm going to take all of this Thank you, D. out. Brown. Thank you, Dirk. I appreciate that. Dirk, I was rooting for the Packers last week, and I really was. Art was not. I only have a master's degree when it comes to hating Packers. <laughs> I I'm was. not a PhD yet. Because I'm going to sear the pork now, and I don't want to burn the bacon and everything. What's your Thrive code? It's in the description box. Below, thrivemarket.com slash Bobby. $20 shopping credit when you get the year-long membership and use that to try the pork bundle. One taste of this bacon like Desi and I eat every single weekend, you're going to love it. How good has it been? Oh, I love it, man. It's crazy. It's, it's so good. You can't find pasture-raised bacon at the store. You can find pasture-raised pork chops right now, to be honest, for a limited time at Whole Foods. It's a seasonal item. It's going to be gone very soon. Other than that, you can't find it. That machine next to the fridge is a Thermomix. Yes, that's my my new toy. It's a Thermomix. I'm doing a big collaboration with them, and it's great. Now, this is called the Boston Butt. Can someone tell me where on the pig the Boston Butt comes from? Hint, and whoever gets it, it <laughs> whoever gets it right, I'm going to give them a free membership to Thrive Market for the next three months. If you don't know, just rewind to the beginning. <laughs> No one's going to no, be one. Do so I don't need all this pork fat. Maybe I'll save it for later. Save it for a rainy day. Save it for a rainy for day. today. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I see a lot of stuff there. A lot of shoulder going on here. A lot of, okay. I'm going to pick one. Barbara. Barbara Lapolt. Pork shoulder. Correct. Even though it's called a butt, it's from a shoulder. Barbara, send me an email, bobby at flavecity.com, and I'll give you a code for a three-month membership to Thrive Market. Fantastic. But like I said, even though I'm giving them away, you can get a 30-day free trial using my link down below. And I think after that, it's 50 bucks a year. But like I said, if you don't like it, you can just cancel. But it's worth getting it just to try the pork. So I'm going to cube all this pork. I have uh, four more memberships to give away, so James do not Galco go anywhere. says, upper part from front shoulder to be technical. You are, thank you. You are correct. I wonder why they call it the butt. I don't know that part of the story. Baby got back. Baby, oh look, baby got back, Art. Baby back, baby got back. I thought it'd be nice just to throw a couple bones of uh, ribs in there, because it has all that yummy uh, collagen and gelatin. Why not? Why not? Bobby have you used Butcher Box. Also, which do you like better? I like Thrive way better. Yeah, I actually have not tried Butcher Box except for their ground beef. I know that, that Butcher Box sources very good quality meat too, but I know exactly where this pork comes from. It comes from a farm in Georgia called the White Oak Pasture. And it's so good that they give the pork a supplemental feed of pasture-raised eggs. Because sometimes the chicken eggs are hatched and they're broken or cracked. And they can't sell them. They give them to the pork along with peanuts and acorns. I'm sure Butcher Box has good stuff too. But I'm just a Thrive fan through and through. Michelle Hansen said she found you watching Thomas DeLauer's YouTube. No, nice. Yeah, me and Thomas. Right now, Hubby and I are hooked. Just received your cookbook today. Oh, you're awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Welcome, Life and DIY. Thank you. Really appreciate that. If you don't have the cookbook yet, just search Flav City on Amazon. The book is doing great because of you guys. Now, let me wash my hands. We're going to sear 
And I feel like a lot of people might be tempted to skip this step, but when you sear, or tell people what happens when you sear meat or pork or whatever before you braise it or pressure cook it. You generate some flavor through the Maillard reaction. Maillard, can you explain what Maillard means? It's uh, what happens when you combine heat with the various uh, proteins and uh, amino acids in the meat. It causes browning and flavor generation and amazing sensations when you eat them and yeah. <laughs> Just trying to rhyme Asian. Come back here, well said. So you could, City Nation. you could skip it. You don't have to do it, but you're cheating yourself on flavor. And this is Flav City after all. You're creating an opportunity for fond. Yes, fond is a good thing. Also known as sticky bits. Lori Morse, a Jericho pork from Spain and awesome, but pricey. I, I know, I always tell Bobby he needs to buy a whole leg. <laughs> Art does keep saying that. I do. All right, hydration break. It's gonna be a long live stream. I gotta stay hydrated. Let's start Alan, with- Alan Girl says I sound like her professor who is ready to retire. <laughs> I think it's fine. If he only, only has to talk about the Maillard reaction. A little bit of collagen water. By the way, if they haven't done so yet, say hello to the one and only. Art. Maybe Uncle you can read this super chat out there. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna be Art. Hey. Bobby, I think you have some breaking news for us. I do, Art. Cindy McCordy, what do you recommend for flour and such substitute Cindy, because I have nut so allergies? Much. What was the question? <laughs> you gotta wait for me to read it, jabroni. Cindy has a uh, nut allergy, so what do you recommend for a flour substitute because she has a nut allergy? Well, Cindy, let me bounce this question back to Bobby. I don't know <laughs> your question. <laughs> so, Cindy, unfortunately, a lot of nut flours are prevalent for keto, so you'd have to go into the paleo baking space. Maybe Desi can answer real quick. Desi, what would be a good substitute for someone who has a nut allergy and they can't do almond flour? Nut allergy. Um, hey, you. But they want to do keto? No, not just no. necessarily keto, just uh, instead of all-purpose flour, so grain-free. Oh, well, garbanzo bean flour, mm -hmm. rice flour, brown, yeah. brown rice flour. Um, there's all sorts of, like, tapioca mm -hmm. starch. Mm -hmm. Very good for that. Mm -hmm. um, millet just, flour. Ah! Millet flour, yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sounds good. And you agree also, right? Chickpea mm -hmm. flour? Yep. Cassava flour? Correct. Yep. Good question. And thank you for Where the super go, chat. Yes, you are very you. sweet. Okay, so I'm just going to brown that over very high heat. And then in the meantime, oh. see, it's just doing its thing. Nothing too excited. Yeah, I just put the splatter down just in case. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna peel my poblano. So we're building flavor, right? We have the pork, we have the bacon onions, we have our flavor bomb uh, chipotle mixture here, and we have this. This, my friends, is three tomatillos. I have a question for you guys. This is a tomatillo. Is it a member of the tomato family or the gooseberry family? And this is an ancho chili. I'm just gonna take the ancho chili and peel away I'll just do it over the sink here. I'll just peel away the skin because that's a little burned. And then I'll open it up and art, I'll just wash away. Okay, actually, I'll do this over the sink. I'll just put the seeds in here and then the residual seeds, I'll just wash away. Life and DIY wants to know if you have a video on protein powders because her son is struggling to gain weight. Yes, search Flav City protein powder. He should get one of the Bobby approved protein powders and the Garden of Life grass-fed butter powder. All those links are in the description box of that video. Um, so Maria says gooseberry, Deborah says gooseberry, uh, Skip says gooseberry, correct. It's a gooseberry, it's not a tomato. It's very acidic, which actually will play very nice in this chili. So it's gonna be great. And we'll have the, uh, the pepper here. So let's roughly chop these up. I need a new knife. Welcome Karen Cook, your first live chat. Good to have you. Perfect, by the way, raise your hand or hit the like button if this is your first live stream, 225. We're getting so many new family members. Yeah, somebody asked where you can buy the vegan A's. Yeah, vegan A's is available everywhere, to be honest. Art and I saw it at Whole Foods. I'm sure we don't need to chop that. Whole Foods this week. I think everyone, just make sure they have expeller pressed, non-GMO canola oil, or the expeller pressed uh, grapeseed oil. Okay. 
921 people. I nice. Not, keep sharing, you guys. Let's get up over 1,000. We're having a good time making some killer recipes here. First time, first time for Sonia. Second time for Mariana. First time for Anna. Can you do a video on a low-carb diet only from Trader Joe's, Target, and Walmart? I don't want like to specify on a diet only from there, but if you watch my videos, you'll see I really touch on everything. First time for Michigan, says Gayla. Second time, long-time fan, says Sarah. Wow, this is going a crazy chat room. You guys are so... How much fun are these live streams, right? We, from Wednesday, we're at the grocery store shopping. Friday, we're cooking. We're blitzing you with a bunch of videos. Are you guys having as much fun as Art and I are having making these videos? I mean, it's been great. The month of January now, we have almost 90,000 new subscribers, which is kooky crazy, right? Totally cuckoo. Gennaro Caputo says, I never hear you talk about the Engine 2 brand at Whole Foods, the former firefighter plant-based. Well, you'll see him knock some of it over. Yeah, I knocked, <laughs> I knocked over his box of cereal uh, in the sugars video coming uh, either this week or next. You know what? His ingredients are good, but I actually tried a couple of his products one time and I did not think they tasted good at all. So while they are pretty clean for the most part from what I've seen, I don't think they're that tasty. Art's right, got breaking news. Tisha Tucker, $2 super chat. We love chili and cheddar biscuits. This meal, double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Thank you so much. You should quadruple thumbs up if you could, right? True that, double true. So let's just double check we got everything going here. My chili mixture's on the side. My poblanos are charred with the uh, ancho. I browned off the onions and the bacon. I'm browning off the beef right now. Then I'm going to add the bacon back in, the onion back in, the blended chili mixture, canned tomatoes. Sister Emma says, where's Johnny? John, Johnny will come around 6.30, I think. Uh, we're going to add in canned tomatoes and bone broth. Okay. I feel good about it. Art's got breaking news. I do. Mm -hmm. Big and Little Spoon, 1990. Whoa! Chat. Bobby, hi, you're in Chicago. Do you ever cook keto slash paleo riffs on gypsy food? Stuffed cabbage, halushki, love from middle of the mitten. Wow, thank you, Big and Little Spoon. Thank you. K keto or paleo version of gypsy food. gypsy food. I love that, gypsy food. Hmm. Cab I, we do a lot of cabbage stuff here. Yeah, we, Desi loves cabbage stews, so we do a lot of that on Instagram story. Uh, I'm not even sure what halushki is. Do you know what halushki is, babe? What? Exactly. A gypsy food called halushki. I don't know that one, do you? You have to enlighten me, my friend. Guys, this is the one-handed can opener. Check it out. You lock it in. Welcome to Denmark. It has like a track wheel around the side. It's a game changer. Then once it's open, you take the magnet that's right here. You plop it. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? It doesn't get easier. Than it that. doesn't. It's on Amazon. You guys, this is on Amazon, my shop page, along with everything else. It's all Amazon products, but if you go to amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City, you can get uh, all my kitchen gear. It's all there. Okay. People are loving that can opener. Oh, dude, it's a game changer. Welcome, Maggie B. Okay, so I have some nice organic uh, tomatoes here. I didn't get the big can of San Marzano. I ran out of those. Halush key is kielbasa, cabbage, and egg noodles. Ooh, wow. Okay, so it's... Impossible to do the egg noodles, but a cabbage and uh, kielbasa. I have that kielbasa, kielbasa kielbasa smoked sausage in the fridge, right, Art? <laughs> Why do you remove the fat layer on top of your bone broth on your highlight reel? Um, you have to. It's just so greasy. You don't want to drink that. That's, why, that's when I use my strainer here because it's just so darn greasy. Okay, let's see how this guy's doing. 980 people. Rose is very vocal tonight. Yes, she, she is. is. She is. Okay, I'm going to get everything back in the party here. Ideally, I would brown it some more, but it's going to pressure cook for a while, so, so I want to get going. Come on over here, Art. Now, I'm going to put onions and bacon. See what's going on here? Because I put it all in, it's a little watery, but it's still going to make a big difference. <laughs> hey, Rose. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Hey Rose, say hi. Did say I hi. Do that? Who's who's doing their Pilates? Who's doing their Pilates? Are you? Are you? <laughs> she sounds like she's close to talking. Ah, uh, she's. I would say yes. Okay, now we'll put that in. Now this is our garlic chili mixture here. Remember, this is like total fire, so be careful with this. That'll be part of our cooking liquid. 
But once we put everything in there, it's not gonna be overwhelmingly spicy. I don't like too much spice in my food. So if you want more, you can add extra chilies, add some cayenne pepper, would not be a problem at all. Susie Shadley saw frozen 100% grass-fed burgers at Costco last night. Yeah, I wish we had. I don't know what happened to ours. It was really weird. Desi, people are asking if you're feeling better. Much, much better, she says, but not 100%. No. And I'll right, come over here real quick. I'm just going to take some of these uh, tomatoes because I always buy whole tomatoes like this because the ones that are chopped or pureed are usually inferior quality. So always buy the whole ones and just squish them yourself, right? Oh, oh, oh look at that. Oh. Down goes Parrish. I, I feel like I'm going to get sprayed, but. Yikes. That can only happen once, so I'm happy it was Let's here. do it. I'm going to do it in here now. Hey, easy. Just mash these guys. And I'm back up. Nothing sc splashes and squirts quite like tomatoes. Flavia wants you to consider making videos with healthy ideas for picky eater kids. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I mean, I like to think most of my recipes, and I know a lot of the recipes in the cookbook are picky eater approved, but an exclusive video of that would be pretty nice. Uh, you got slime. Says, do you ever sous vide? I never do. I never do. It's just not my thing. Just that one video with the steaks. Yeah, just that. That was just for fun. Okay, so. Do it the Italian way. Use your hands. I, I should have. You're right. I totally should have. Now, look. So far, so good. But I said I want to get a little pork rib in there. So, Art, let's crack open this pasture-raised pork rib here. So who's actually taken the time and ordered some of the uh, pork from Thrive? Because I've heard some great feedback. And they met the pork bundle. They're in the process of working out where you can do a la carte. Because maybe not everyone wants to get the bundle. If, if it were up to me, I would order like 90% bacon and the rest like pork chops. Because their pork chops are amazing. But like I said, the first line of the description box has my promo. Or just go to thrivemarket.com slash bobby. $20 shopping credit. And then if you don't like your year-long membership after 30 days, cancel it or cancel it within 30 days and you'll get your money back. But you get to try the pork. I just want you to try the pork once. If you don't like it, you get a refund, right? But Linda, you're going to love this pork. Linda White says, Thrive, $60 a year. Saved over $200 in three months. Amazing. I've saved over $1,800 in two years, I think. Or not even that long. Has anyone ever had peanut butter in their chili? I put a spoon in a couple weeks ago and it was so good. Oh, you know what? I was going to ask you that. Should I add just like a, a teaspoon or two of cacao powder to this? Because chili and, uh, and uh, chocolate go very well together. You guys vote on that right now. We're at 1,000 people right now, by the way. 1,000 people! That's awesome. I'm going to drink to that. Here's some collagen water for me to you. Are you making mole? It's not a mole, but... It's very classic New Mexico to add a little bit of chocolate. Uh, Lauren says, yeah. Sarah says, yeah. Tell the newcomers what you're cooking. Oh, if you, okay, so if you're just joining, we're making a hearty pasture-raised pork chili with keto red lobster cheddar bay biscuits. We have three kinds of pork in there, all from Thrive Market. We got bacon, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs, and we got pork shoulder. You know what? Let's do it. Sauce. Check it out. So here's the, diff the deal, guys. When it's cacao, A-O, it's raw, unprocessed cocoa powder. When it's cocoa, O-A, it's processed and cooked. And if it's Dutch processed cocoa, what is it, Art? It's got the cocoa powder, but then it's got an alkali added to it. An to alkali. Bring down the acidity. Exactly. So let's just add a heaping teaspoon of cocoa powder there, or cacao powder, I should say. Then we got to add a little bit of cooking liquid. So you could use water, but I have, where is it? I had some bone broth that came in the mail. Oh, it's right here. Everyone's talking about the chattiness of rice. <laughs> now, I ran out of bone broth. I normally would make my own, but I got some Pacific bone broth. So come back here, Art. <laughs> I'll take that. She seems She's never been here. more vocal this week than right now. Let's just cover everything here. <laughs> and we probably have to add another pinch of salt. 
Happy Lunar New Year, too. Oh, thank you. That's tomorrow, isn't it? <laughs> Hilarious. This is so distracting. It's so awesome. I love it. Now, I'm going to pressure cook this for 45 minutes. If you didn't want to do it in the pressure cooker, do it here, Art. Do it in the La Crusade and do it for about two and a half to three hours. Okay. What do you think? Should we add more liquid or is that pretty good, Art? What do you think? I don't know how much of it's going to evaporate. Uh, I don't think much is, it gonna, much is going to evaporate. What do you guys think? Should I add more liquid? I don't want it to be too watery. I think it could use maybe a touch more. My recipe says cover everything by three inches. That doesn't look comfortable by three inches. No, but I don't want it to be too watery. What does everyone say? Is Rose saying Dada? I think she is. I, she's been close to saying it, but I'm not sure if she means to Just say Dada. Enough. Just enough? Jessica Allen says no more. Joe says more. Wow. Mike says just a little. Okay. Stangman says no. Oh, you know what I want to do? Let's do this. Welcome, Art. Chris. Good Let's just put you. a little. Hey, what's up, Chris? Let's put a little bit of bone broth in my yeah, you don't want to waste mixing bowl. You don't bowl. want to miss a thing, just like Aristotle. Exactly. I'm the Steven Tyler of cooking. I don't want to miss a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe you can be their new drummer since they kicked the old one out. Did they? Yeah. He's okay. Still... Is he really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Everything's in there. Uh, stew meat, bacon, chili mixture, tomatoes, water. Okay, that's everything. Now we just got to wait. The waiting is the hardest part, right, Art? Uh, yes. I got a little more. Thank you, Tom. I'm going to put a little more liquid, but I'm going to put it on the lid of my thing just to get all the liquid out there. Okay. Everyone says Rose is saying Dada. Wow, they're saying Dada. Okay, I'll take it, y'all. I'll take it. She's saying Dada for sure. <laughs> Maybe she wants to be in the video. That's what she's saying. Alicia Palou says, add some beer. What'd she say? Add some beer. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to do that. Great idea. I'm going to take a Guinness. Out. Great. Is that Alicia? Alicia She's getting a free Alicia, membership. Alicia Palou. Alicia, great call. In return for that idea, send me an email, bobby at flavecity.com. You're getting a free membership to Thrive Market for three months. Good for you. Amazing idea. Hello, hello. Mom's doing well. Thank you much. I will say hi. All right, let's add, this is a great I'm idea because beer and uh, pork, best friends. So I'm going to pour a little bit in here. Look at that art. Oh, yeah, babe. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I'm going to put the lid on. This is a really cool pressure cooker. Check it out. It's called the Clipso because you do this and it's on, right? What do you think of the uh, carnivore diet? Uh... Well, it's National Carnivore Month, apparently. I don't know what that means. I mean, I love the paleo diet where it's all about. Let's everyone say. I think she wants to say hi. By the way, the, Tom Dalton giving you a dollar ninety nine super chat. Guinness Tom, is Tommy approved. Tom, Tom's such a big supporter. Thank you, Tom. Everyone say hi to Rose. Rose will be, uh, what is she? Seven and a half months. Yeah, seven and a half months. She got better. She had a kind of a cough this week, but it all cleared up. And we took her to the doctor today just to be safe. And the doctor said, she's the picture of health, y'all, right? He just said, mom, get healthy. But she's so good. Still working on that sleep training, right? A little tough, but man. See, all she wanted to be was over here, hanging out. Should I put her in the seat so that she can hang out with me? You guys want Rose to be my sous chef and hang out for a while? All right, let me grab best a... Best cheeks ever. Christine they are, they literally sense. are the best cheeks ever. I agree. Let's get your chair, Rosie, my girl. Because now that it's in the pot, we have to wait for it to come to pressure, and then we have to cook it for about 35 to 40 minutes, which means we've got to make biscuits. Maybe you can help me clean a little bit, and we can hang out, right? So, Rose, you're going right here, my dear. Oh, let me get rid of your smock. Thank you, dear. Okay. Get those Jimmy legs in here. There you go. Get your hands off of Jimmy. <laughs> there you go, my love. Yes. Mwah. Okay. Well, we got that leftover Guinness here. You might as well. Here's to you guys, right? Whereas Kramer said on Seinfeld, here's to feeling good all the time. Yeah, except you'd be smoking it. I need a cigarette and put it in backwards in my mouth, right? Any salad? I think we might make a salad too. I have romaine wow. in there. Might as well. Busy night here. So once again, you guys, this live stream, I'm using the Thrive Market pasture-raised pork. 
Another one of my favorite Thrive products, and if you have seen me talk about it, is this. This is their grass-fed, unflavored uh, peptide, collagen peptides. And why I like this, it has no flavor. So in the morning, every morning during the week, I have tea. I'll make a cup of loose leaf tea like this. So what does loose leaf mean? You guys, it means this. It means like, the leaves are loose. <laughs> Thank you, smart boy. It means this, the leaves are like that. They're exactly whole, okay. whole tea leaves. They're not powdered. They're not in a tea bag. These are premium whole tea leaves. And I love it because on the weekends I have coffee. On the weekdays I have this and I put unflavored collagen in there. It's one of two of my servings of collagen per day because I love this stuff. I'm 42 years old. I need this as a supplement because I don't got the cheeks that Rose got. Art has breaking news. Cindy Infante, four ninety nine super chat. Cindy, Thank you, Cindy, Cindy gave the other day too. Thank Cindy. you, Cindy. So sweet. So in the morning I'll have it with my jasmine tea. In the afternoon I'll have it with my uh, post workout smoothie, and I love this stuff. So when you get your pork bundle using my promo code in the description box, thrivemarket.com/bobby. If you want to add on, I would add on the collagen peptides, unflavored, not the flavored ones and the Thrive Market grass-fed ghee. This stuff is bananas. Art's got breaking news. Double breaking news. Double. Aaron Cook, $4.99. Roshan Rajesh, $1.99. Thank you to both of you so much. Thank you. Rosh is a huge fan on Instagram. Karen, you guys are so nice. Where are the teas from? The tea is from a local shop in the neighborhood called the Coffee and Tea Exchange. But you can go to a bulk section of Whole Foods or you can get a, the loose leaf tea from Thrive Market and get in there too. Uh, Trinaboo, any suggestions on how to move towards a paleo and keto diet? Baby steps, what's better for a healthy weight loss and overall health? So keto and paleo is better, both for an overall health, losing weight, feeling great. I would just say, educate yourself what is keto and paleo, and it's really easy. Basically, it's no grains, right? And it's no simple starches like uh, potatoes. So if you eat a paleo diet, you can still bake stuff, right, with... Uh, cassava flour, tapioca starch, uh, stuff like that. But you can't have any rice, flour. You can't have any uh, potatoes. It's pretty easy, actually. And when you eat meat, you want to have grass-fed or pasture-raised. So grass-fed beef, luckily, is available at the grocery store. Pasture-raised pork, like this one from Thrive Market, is not available at any grocery store, which is why when this is from a, a small family farm in Georgia and it's high quality, I have a whole freezer full of it. In my box also, I got this. This is pasture-raised ground pork art. I got this. This is pasture-raised boneless loin chop. And these, oh, this is not this box, but another box. I got chicken breast. It's not pasture-raised, but it's very, very close. And I got some really good pork chops. But I ordered, look, art, like triple bacon. I have like literally five of these in here. But we eat one of these every weekend. Matt says you should put some bacon in the biscuits. <laughs> Matt, Matt, I like the way you think, bro. There's so much butter in there. We already have three kinds. We have three kinds of pork in the in the chili, and Matt's like, no, nah, bro, that's not enough. Hey, Takumi, that Takumi's watching from Japan. Nice, Japan's in the house. That is so cool. Welcome. I'm going to put my bacon in there because I'm going to make that tomorrow. And then that I should put in a Ziploc bag because I, it's leaking a little bit because I cut it. Uh, Art, right, look at this real quick. By the way, Art and I filmed the video today of what's in my pantry. And half the video was there. Half the video was here because our coat closet has turned into pantry number two with protein MCT, uh, paleo baking mixes, snacks, and everything. That video will come out soon. Trinab we need to move. We need a bigger place because we have so much stuff. It's crazy. Trinabu wants to know, what if I don't eat pork or beef? Well, then I would get their chicken bundle, right? Or I get their seafood. They have some really good seafood, like scallops, wild salmon, and shrimp. Art's got breaking news. Roshan Rajesh, $5 with the uh, uh, bicep curl pear. Oh, my favorite thank, one. Thank you so much, Roshan. Oh, uh, Rosh. You're such a good fan. Roche has some really cool hauls on his stories and he sends them to me. Really, really cool. Aren't you looking into moving soon? Oh uh, yeah, we're hopefully gonna buy a new place late spring. I think what we really wanna do 
is buy a place that we can not fix up the whole place, but listen, I want a dream kitchen that no developer, no one's gonna build. So you guys, if you have more experience than me, I don't think we're gonna find it. Do we probably have to build our own place or at least find a place we like 80% of it and then be like, okay, let's renovate the kitchen and the master because I want our dream house next. Art has breaking news. You I think just got a 999 super chat from Teresa P. Teresa, this Thank last so swig much. is for you. Irene, no, we're not related. I'm a, we've been friends since high school and uh, I don't live here. I'm here all the time. But I don't He's live here all the time, but he does not live here. Oh yeah, we're staying in Chicago, Sister Emma. Absolutely. A reno is definitely needed, says Panda's Corner. Uh, definitely a remodeled kitchen. Yeah, because I mean, I love this kitchen. We moved here 10 years ago. Now it's too small and I want different stuff. And I don't think anyone can really build it as is. I have so much input into what I want. I'd rather find something that is like existing, has great space and just demolish it and build my dream kitchen. I have so many cool ideas. I've seen so many cool inspiration. Guy Fieri's kitchen from his uh, show is amazing. Jamie Oliver's kitchen's amazing. So very, very cool. Hey, Lisa just bought the cookbook. If you go on amazon.com and you search Flav City, anywhere in the world, it'll be delivered to you. You guys, the book came out seven months ago. It's still ranking in the top 700 out of 8 million books. Our ebook shopping guide is a bestseller there. That's a culmination of most all of our videos on the ebook shopping guide for your Kindle. Amazing, you guys. You guys are so supportive. Panda at Panda's Corner lost the dream kitchen in Madison, Wisconsin due to a bidding war almost two years ago. I feel your pain. Wow. So it sounds like that one was built already. I want to build my own. Oh, so I'm not worried news. about being outbid. Hey, Wesley, Tyler. $5 super chat. Thanks for all your videos, been on an all-natural diet, and I feel so much better getting rid of all those nasty chemicals and bad ingredients. Thank yep. you so much. Even You could be eating healthy-ish, but there could be natural flavors, there could be fake sugars. When you know what goes in your body, you're gonna feel darn diggity good. Is there another Super Chat? Big and Little Spoon. Oh my God. Four ninety nine. can we enter a Super Chat raffle to have our name where hungry is above the stove? Oh, I don't have that many, I don't have that many letters, but I like the idea. I'll do a special raffle for something like that. It's a really cool idea. can make out of that thing right now? Uh, what's a name I can do out of there? I know Reese is, but you don't have an S. You can do R-H-Y, R-H-Y. But... We got some Canadian? Aaron Wendler, 279 Canadian. What would you put in beef stir fry? Thank you so much. Um, I would put in there shirataki noodles. I would put in there um, some cabbage towards the end. I would put zucchini, red peppers. But what would make it really good and low carb is putting in these at the end, right? Those are the low carb shirataki noodles that you just got to stir fry on the side. Check it out, Art. And that'll it. give you like a nice low carb uh, fix. Walmart, uh, Whole Foods. I don't think Thrive has this brand, but you got to cook it and get the uh, liquid out of there. Sandra Bosket, $5. Bobby, I was at the Schaumburg Whole Foods. Go to Woodman's, please. Yeah, I hear good things about Woodman's. I got to check you. that out. I definitely got to check it out. Hey, sweetie. Okay, I can hear oh, my guy. pressure cooker coming up to pressure. You can make the name Guy out of your existing letters. Oh, yeah. I could make Guy. That's about it. Thank you. <laughs> so the, N. Rose. the N is slightly off here. Let's see. The best is when I accidentally cut off the R and the Y, and it just says that. It's really funny. Okay, let's make biscuits. Do you want to join me in the kitchen and make bis some biscuits, babe, or no? No? <laughs> no, you do all the work. I don't mind it. Gabby tells everyone about natural sugars now that you educated. Are you scared that your pressure cooker will explode? No, see, you don't have to worry about that when you have a good pressure cooker. Does and this valve? literally is locked around here. Uh, do I have a release valve? Like a well, safety valve. I don't know what that is, a safety valve. Like in case it goes too high? It oh, up. yeah, I would just push this and release it. It's a little button. I thought there's like an automatic thing. Like I don't think so. Safety, What's up, Shaheen? Shaheen in the house. We're all good. Trying that's, to make date brownies that's, that's with that's chocolate chips. What do you suggest? We have the recipe. Search Flav City date brownie. It's a Desi recipe that's gluten free. It's delicious. Um, how do you cook the noodles? You cook them in a dry nonstick pan for eight minutes until most of the moisture is done evaporating. Then you're done. Where do you buy chicken bones? Neck and back bones for chicken bone broth. Um, good question. You want organic chicken bones for that? You probably have to go to a butcher shop or a local co-op uh, for that because it's kind of tough to find that kind of stuff. Guten Tag from San Jose. Mm -hmm. Does Rose eat any fruits? Yeah, she's eating Duncan. mango. She's eating uh, the most delicious combination, right, Dusty? Of 
pear and coconut oil. Bl what? Cooked, blended together. When she doesn't finish, Desi and I eat. It's so good. All right, let's make biscuits, says Brad. You guys, if you're just joining, we got almost 1,200 people on here. I'm gonna tell you the menu one time, then I'm gonna tell you to share, please. We're gonna make, in this pot, beef, uh, beef, pork chili that's pasture raised and keto. We're gonna make keto biscuits. Right now, it's my version of Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits. All I ask for you in return is to share the live stream. Take the link, paste it over to Instagram stories, your Facebook wall, and say, yo, Flav City's hanging out on Fridays with Flav with Rose, Desi, and Art making the most delicious keto Super Bowl chili. You're going to love it. Come join. And I really want you guys to try this pork. So I'm going to keep reminding you the Thrive link is in the description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash Bobby. Get the year-long membership because you get the $20 credit to use for shopping. Try the pork, and if you don't like it, just cancel your membership. You get your money back, but you get to keep that $20 credit. You're going to love the bacon and everything else. But ours got breaking news. Susan Avery just gave you $10. I just placed my first order from Thrive. Thank you. What did you get, Susan? Did you get the, uh, the pork? And thank you for the uh, $10 super chat. No, pressure cookers will not explode. Trust me, they will not. Art needs to be on camera more. Rose I agree. Been looking a lot like Bobby these days. And on Sundays, I've been hearing that. Jesse. It doesn't matter as both of them are lovely people. I've been hearing that Rose is starting to look more like me, but I did an Instagram poll yesterday and 87% of people said Desi. But it used to be over 90, yeah. so I'll take it where I can get it. Hey, trivia question for you guys. For this recipe, which is on page 159 of the book, I need... Let me see how much butter. You just got another super chat, Bobby. Oh my God, hold on, I wanna see who it is in a second. I need half a cup of grass-fed butter melted. How many sticks is half a cup of butter? Who give me a super chat? Love Tina, 89, 999. Wow. wow. I've learned more this month on your videos than ever. My 11-year-old son is also a fan. Bought your book for my shopping guide. Thank you so much. I love to hear that. Thank That's you. why we make the contact. That's why I read the book. And I love your screen name, Love Tina, because that was my mother's name who passed away from uh, MS five years ago. So thank you for that. Okay, uh, Sherry says one stick. Jackie says one stick. Sherry, I saw your name first. It is one stick. Sherry gets a Fra Thrive membership for free for three months. Sherry, email bobby at flavecity.com and I'll hook you up. One stick, check it out, Art, of grass-fed Kerrygold. This actually... Art, who gave this to me? I think a, a certain cameraman may have. For, for my birthday. birthday, Art gave me Kerrygold butter and organic <laughs> eggs from Vital Farm. How nice is that? Because to be honest, that's a better gift than most I can get because I'm going to use them, and I did. Okay, Art, come back here. Let's hear this. This is the ASMR portion of the show. Listen, this is coming to pressure now. Let's get a theme song of Freddie Mercury. Okay, one of us is going to have to stick our neck close to that thing because of the microphone. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Russia! <laughs> All right, so that's no. almost there. Yeah, P. <laughs> Let's kick it. It's not the same. <laughs> I'm going to have argue the funniest imitation. Do you guys ever remember the uh, VH1 behind the music with Vanilla Ice? And they're asking him about ripping off Queen's song. And I'm going to show Art. Because Art does the best Vanilla Ice imitation of him explaining why he did not rip off Queen. So what did Vanilla do? Vanilla, well, Vanilla Ice said, yeah, because my song goes, din, 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 there it goes, din, 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 it's not the same. <laughs> that was awesome. It's funny because it's true. Great job on the Bowie tune, Peggy says. Thank you. I appreciate it. Somebody that. wanted me to make the biscuits. Uh, Tweety Bird, do you speak art? Do you speak Deutsch? Uh, not enough. I need to do things here and there. I what? have a stupid expression that won't get you very far if you find yourself. Excuse me, right? Needing to speak German, but it's all in German. So this is probably one of the, the most popular the recipes from the book and from the blog. Raise your hand or click the thumbs up if you've actually made this recipe. We're at 361 thumbs up right now. Uh, Panda's three-year-old son is obsessed with your videos. Guy comes running when he hears your voice. Oh, he comes running when he... I love it. I've been getting so many messages that kids are loving my videos. To me, that warms the cockles of my heart. I love that. What's wrong, Papa? Okay, let's give you to Mommy. You must be hungry. Someone's smelling all this food, and she's like, I want Parish some Baker milk. Parrish Baker says, actually, it's originally a Bowie song. 
Bowie and Queen teamed up on that. They were yeah, I that. thought it was a Queen Russia. song that Bowie actually collabed on. <laughs> there you go, Mama. Uh, we'll see you later, Rose. Rose will be back, everyone. It's in her contract. She needs a milk break. All right, so this is where you want it to be. So let me start my timer. This is going to be so good, it's going to be bananas. What about bison? I barely hear you talk about it. Isn't it healthier than cow? Um, I wouldn't say it's healthier. The problem is it's so darn uh, lean. Sock down, sock down. It's so darn lean, it's so hard to cook. I would just go with grass-fed beef. I'm okay with that. Okay. Apparently, uh, Bowie had Queen save it, so. Bowie had Queen save it? Yeah. What does that mean? Clarify, please. Uh, okay, preheat oven to 350 degrees. Done. By the way, this is what the biscuits are going to look like, hopefully. Desi actually made these for the cookbook because she makes baked things look beautiful. Yeah. Mine don't always look that great, but we can make it close to as that good. All right? So we have to yeah, yeah, <clears throat> north of Bobby. Uh, sift two I'm cups of far. almond flour into a bowl. I'm not going to sift it because that takes too much time. But just when you sift it, it takes out any clumps or lumps. But I feel like... It still works. I almost feel like it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Nancy's been a Thrive subscriber for a long time and has saved four thousand dollars to date. Four thousand? So I wish I could open my report. app right now because I think I'm over two thousand. But that's amazing. Brad says Queen and David Bowie collectively wrote the song. Interesting. Okay, interesting. So two cups of this. So, in addition to the pork and the beef on Thrive, they just have a lot of Thrive brand organic non-GMO products that are really good, like the collagen, the ghee snacks so i encourage you to check it out and make sure you also get the go to the deals page because you can get free stuff anytime you spend over 49 dollars. they always send me i'm not even joking let me show you real quick they always send me a free almond butter or cashew butter it's like it's like a five or ten dollar value they always do it it's crazy so two cups of almond flour go in there then let's see <clears throat> add the say again Life and DIY, DIY was asking, yes. do you ever eat venison? I do. I had a freezer full of it one time when I went deer hunting, but yeah, I don't eat. A while. I don't. We're having some issues with the. Uh... Karen made the fat bread. Had problems with. I, I'm uh, not connected I'm here. I'm back now. Okay, Karen had issues with the fat bread with it rising. What does that mean, best babe? Oh, if Karen had problems. Yeah. Well. Check your butter. Oh, thank you. I turned the heat off. Um, so, Karen, I would say make sure using the updated recipe, we actually, uh, in the new print of the book, we added some baking powder to the recipe too. Make sure you squeeze the lemon juice over the leavening agent so they bubble up. But you really shouldn't have a problem with that. Um, Unless you change ingredients. Yes. So, to the almond flour, we're going to add some salt. Unrefined salt, right? That's Celtic sea salt, which I'm loving these days. A little bit of... <laughs> Onion powder, she cracks me up. By the way, David Bowie was struggling to finish a song, so he handed it to Queen, and they uh, really they brought it to where. Oh, where so interesting! Thank you for the behind the music there. <laughs> this portion of the Flavor City live stream brought to you by VH1. They had behind that cool the music. intro for the song, like Fame, Fortune, Money. Yeah, yes. yeah, it was cool. It was cool. And that voice, the guy had a good voice. The the narrator. The narrator. Song. Yeah, that was a great show. Behind the music. That and MTV Cribs back in the day was so cool. Um, or Kurt Loader, MTV. MTV. So that's the dry team, you guys. Onion powder, girl. oh, green onions. And then the wet team. The cool thing about doing paleo and keto Pretty baking is you don't have to worry about overmixing the batter because there's no flour, there's no glutens to overmix. When you're baking with flour, if you overwork the dough, it gets tough because you're overworking the glutens. Wow, this is my Terry, third Terry, knife perfect. of the live stream. The other two are tainted. So, all right, let's get a little green onion cam. Here, we'll just take some organic green onions and finely slice them. What and brand of refrigerator is that? This is a KitchenAid stainless steel refrigerator, black stainless steel. And you know what, guys? I want to keep this meal dairy-free tonight. Normally, I would add some organic cheddar cheese. I'm going to skip that. And when I say dairy-free, it's not quite accurate because I'm using the butter, but... If I was using ghee, it essentially would be a casein and lactose-free, but cheese to me is a little too phlegmy, whereas the butter I can handle. 
Art gave me a look like you. You, need the you son of a gun. You, Art thought he got his dream meal it's tonight. It's not Cheddar Bay anymore. What, what should I do? Should I add some cheese? You guys vote. You guys are going to vote right now. Should I add cheddar cheese or should I not? And in the meantime, Dorothy, Dorothy Thompson just came in with a $20 super chat. Thir whoa, 31 pounds. 31 pounds. pounds. to go. Thanks, Bobby. Wow. Dorothy, Dorothy good for you. Dorothy, this is for you. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. That was for you. Oh, my God. Everyone's Everyone. overwhelmingly saying cheese. No, they're not saying cheese. They're saying... Rescue Rangers, Rescue Rangers, Art. Cheese. All right. Y'all want cheese? I got some organic. Some Shut of them up. are even doing it in emoji form like Maggie B. Oh, Maggie. I appreciate it. Maggie B, once again, the inventor of Uncle Farturo. So we'll save that for a little bit later. I got some organic cheddar. Cheddar makes it better. My Boston accent. This is going to be great for my uh, <laughs> Okay, now I got to add... Eggs and butter and whisk. So I need two eggs. So if you're going to get pasture-raised eggs, we talk about this in a lot of videos, but I really want to drive home the point. Pasture-raised is better than cage-free, free-range. But pasture-raised eggs still have a new supplemental feed of grain. Unless you get the non-GMO ones or the organic, it's going to be GMO grain. I don't want you putting that in your body. So look for organic or non-GMO, because they're not the same thing, pasture-raised eggs. Organic is non-GMO. Non-GMO is not organic. So I need two. Mail and uh, certified mail. Two. <laughs> certified mail. Trivia, what show is that from? Certified mail, registered mail. Exactly, Shaheen. <laughs> All right, I need a bowl here for the wet team. Wow, the cleanup tonight is going to be crazy. changes. Okay. One egg. And then our punching on the color of that yolk. And this is why I just love pasture raised. It's not pale yellow. It's vibrant orange. What's that? Oh, part of the uh, sh lining. Real life is more vibrant than on the screen right now. I'll tell you that much. It is? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, yeah. On screen, it looks kind of pale. What a nice little cheddar Is that going to help? Yeah, even the cheddar looks pale. <clears throat> wow. They're like the same color. In real life. He's pale. So, like, crank up the saturation on your screen right now, and you'll see something. No one's going to do that. By the way, is it me, or does that smell amazing? I thought that was a amazing? knife. I'm like, wow. That smells so good. No, this is just a whisk. But you did it right. I mean, you wouldn't have My name is Enrico Palazzo. You killed my father. No, Prepare to die. What name did you say? Enrico Palazzo. Enrico Montoya. Montoya? Ah. Oh, my God. I was thinking of Palazzo. That's Leslie Nielsen's name from that movie where he's the umpire. What's the name of that movie? Naked Gun. That was that Naked, Naked Gun. Gun. Yeah, <laughs> that was so funny because I saw a clip of that recently. Okay, so people say burrot, please. <laughs> but what happens, you guys, if I put hot butter into eggs? I'm gonna scramble it. So we use a technique called tempering, where I slowly. By the way, look at the color. I don't know if you can of the butter. That is so gold. It's gold, la, 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 right? It's golden. It's beautiful. So you slowly add it. So you slowly bring the temperature. Wow, if you can crack up Desi, then I know my jokes are on fire tonight. Ba baby, I'm on fire, Can you use Himalayan salt for baking? Absolutely, you can. Whoa, well, you just got a 9.99 super chat Whoa. from Cindy Infante. Cindy, you're I'm so wrong. generous. Thank Cindy, you. you are muy, muy generoso. Muchas gracias para mi corazón. Toda la gente que mira a mi uh, live stream. Muchas gracias. Doreen just had a very bloody egg. What does that mean? You should throw it away. Throw it away, yeah. It's no, no bueno. Okay. So that's my mixture. And I believe we just put it over the... Oh, you tell me in baking, Sorry, Maggie, does the dry the team go on the wet team or the wet team go on the dry team? I get confused. You guys tell me. Uh, pour the batter. Sharon Merritt, nine ninety nine. Just got your e shopping guide. You've done an awesome job. Thanks. For Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate you. that. We put a lot of work into there. From Chicago. Uh, Pretty B says wet on dry. Taylor says wet on dry. I saw Pretty first. Pretty, you just won yourself a Thrive membership for three months. Shoot me an email, uh, email Bobby at flavecity.com. How many memberships you give? That's out? four. I have one more. You're sure of that, right? No. Okay. <laughs> Wet to dry. Wet to dry. That's just 
pretty much always the way it is. Baking powder? Question mark. Did, oh, did, oh! I missed. Who who told Trudy, me that? Trudy Selena. Said Trudy, that. you just won yourself the last Thrive Market membership for reminding me about the baking powder. Otherwise, it would have been disastrous. Trudy, email Bobby at FlavCity.com because you just saved the day. Here's to you. Ah, <laughs> uh, how much do I need of this? Two teaspoons. Wow. And somebody said finance degree can't count. <laughs> Can't count. Yeah, same. <laughs> I guess that person also would. Uh, All right, two teaspoons. That. Yeah, I'm usually pretty good at basic math, but that's about it. Hey, I got lots of stuff going on. I got pressure cookers. I got ovens. I got you. I got Rose. I got a computer. Matt Walker says I need to watch Terrifier because I'm the main character in that movie. You? I never heard of that before. I haven't heard that either, but now I'm intrigued. Shaheen was about to ask if he added baking powder. He got beat by Trudy. A second drink of the night, Blood Orange S. Love it. Not bloody egg. <laughs> Man, that Guinness was delicious. I haven't had a Guinness in ages. Did you realize that rhymed? Me? That Guinness was delicious. Oh, thank you, Art. I want to go to the Guinness factory in Ireland really bad. Oh, here's a great question, Bobby. Yes. Hint, hint. What do you think of Zevia? Art and I tried Zevia for the first time. I love the flavor, but I normally say no because it has natural flavors. But we filmed the video Wednesday talking about the sugar epidemic in the country in the grocery store. And I'd rather you have Zevia instead of a can of soda that has 40 grams of sugar. So there's no sugar-free sodas on the market that don't have natural flavors. Drink it. Drink it over any other sugar-laden diabetes bomb that is known as soda. All right, so wet goes on dry. I think we also might want to have people share pretty soon. We're yeah, sharing is caring, you guys. People right now. Yeah, Art, what should they do? You tell people how to share. Share a link to this video on all your social media profiles, dating profiles, Hinge, yep. Tinder. Which is the Christian dating Mingle. profile that a fan created for you, I forgot? Uh, farmers only. Farmers only. I think Christian singles would Bumble, be more appropriate Bumble. for you. You're not a farmer. Yeah, uh, I haven't been on many farms. <laughs> I think I'm, I've been on more farms than you, maybe. You probably have. <laughs> Okay, so guys, here's the dough, right? And you can mix it all you want because there ain't no gluten in there. The only thing is you want to let it rest for about five minutes so the almond flour can hydrate. In the meantime, I can grate that organic cheddar cheese because y'all voted for that. So that's done. Let's get our cheddar. Can you get baking powder without cornstarch? Can you get, no, you got to make baking powder without cornstarch, right, babe? You make it with baking soda and cream of tartar, right? Yeah. Okay, and that's the only way you can technically do it paleo. I'm just too lazy for is that tonight. Is cheddar vegan? No, this is real. I have vegan. You want vegan cheddar art? Somebody, uh, do you art want Taylor. vegan cheddar? I want, I want real cheese. That's what I thought. I can give you the vegan. Please do a meet and greet in Atlanta. Everyone wants we to We got to go. Atlanta. Oh, so guys, so mark your calendars. If you live in Chicagoland, mm, February 15th in Chicago, I'm doing a meet and greet cooking demo. There's only going to be 35 tickets available per session. There's two sessions that day. It's not live yet. you got to follow me on the Instagram Flav, uh, Flav City Stories. Uh, it's going to sell out very quick, but we're going to hang out and we're going to cook keto paleo recipes together at a really cool spot in Chicago using a ton of grass-fed beef. Art's got breaking news. Kathy just said you didn't put the baking powder in, but then... Uh... Anita K, four ninety nine super chat. Anita made some bone broth and threw in some fresh turmeric and ginger. Yum. Yeah, Desi's got a question. Anita, by the way, thank you so much for that super chat. You know what would, would be good in the biscuits? What's that? Bacon. Some bacon. Some. Someone else said that too. Yeah. I, I don't have any bacon cooked though. But you have to have the bacon. Yeah. Someone said that. I'm like, dude, I got three kinds of pork in there, but maybe not tonight. But in general, yeah. If you cook some bacon and drain it off and put it in here with the cheddar cheese. That would be amazing. Shaheen has to go. Take care and have a lovely meal. Say hi and bye to Dusty and lots of love. To Thank Rose. you, Shaheen. Lots Thanks of love to your Shaheen. family, and I hope everyone's doing well and healthy. Yeah, Thanks you can so make much. these. You could also make these sweet biscuits. You can add um, a little bit of monk fruit powder to this, and a little bit of like uh, vanilla, and then bake them off and, put, and serve them with like uh, strawberry butter. It'd be amazing. When can you have a meet and greet in Southern California? You know what? We I haven't been to SoCal in a while. Anytime I have a reason to go for work, I'll always do a, a meet and greet. I just don't travel for work very often, which I love. Okay, so that's done. 
add some New Mexico green chili to those biscuits. Yeah, oh, actually, that's a great idea. Some canned hatch chilies would be lovely. You could put that in there. Just drain off the liquid. Thanks, Trudy. Trudy sent the email to you for the membership. Thank you, Trudy. Uh, thank you, Drew. What? Thank you very much. Fort Worth, Texas. Raphael. Yeah, Fort Worth. I haven't been to Fort Worth in about 15 years. What about adding cinnamon if you make them? Yeah, so I just said that. That'd be a great idea. Great idea. America's Test Kitchen said it's best to do dry into wet. I think for certain applications it might. I know Art's a member of that. I, I don't believe in that, but if they say that, you know, you can check out their rationale. Okay, so now we got to get a baking sheet and roll out some biscuit balls. Let me clean this off here real quick. If you guys don't mind, also, I think when these go in, if we can do a little tidying up together, Marie Kondo style, that'd be lovely. Right? Yeah, Maggie B says, if you guys go to Atlanta, that's not far from Florida, so she might travel. <laughs> nice. Actually, Desi and I, it looks like, are going to be in Miami for the South Beach Food and Wine Show. And I think we might be there, like, all week. So stay tuned for that. If you want to come down to South Beach, we can do a meetup. I'll actually be at the main tasting tent most days with Thermomix, just hanging out there, uh, doing some demos and having a good time. It's going to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to take some parchment paper. I never bake on tin foil or aluminum foil. I just don't like the heat of the foil going into the food. But now, see how this is a perfect consistency art? Look at that. It hydrated really well. And so I'll just take these guys and let's see, let's see. There's also a little tip. If you just wet your fingers just a skosh, the batter won't stick to your hands. And I'd say this is like a large golf ball. I just, should I make them any bigger than that or what do you think? Perfect. Perfect. This is a Desi job. I'm going to do my best to be like Des. Yeah, make it into a ball. You don't have this left. Oh yeah, for sure. Hashtag be like Des. You know the like song this. from, I, I want to be, be like Des. Like like this. I was, Art, I was about to say, remember that commercial? And you already went into it. Right, we, this is what Art and I do all day, by the I way. I know where you're going, vice versa. That's right. Art and I are so crazy and sick in the head, we know each other's jokes before they come. It's totally bananas. LeBron James doesn't have a song like yeah, that. That's right. Take that, LBJ. Okay. Chicken Nuggies, where is Desi from? Desi is from the great country of Bulgaria. So this is easy. I'm, like, I'm not even a baker myself, but these are so easy, you cannot mess them up. It's literally impossible. Why do you like the thermal mix? I like it because you can cook in there, chop in there, slow cook. You can make the most amazing almond butter, almond flour if you need to. And you could also ferment, which I haven't done yet. I mean, it's an amazing machine. They reached out to me because they wanted a bunch of keto recipes on their platform. And I didn't know much about the machine. I've really come to love it. I still love cooking with pots and pans. But for certain things, it really is amazing. See? Rose pretty much is seconding my emotion. I second that emotion. I think this one's a little bigger, but it's okay. Rose, who's a cutie? Who's a cutie? You're having a good time, huh? Okay. That's right, Maggie. No, SC, I'm not uh, Bobby's brother, but people think... No. Art thinks he's my brother. Our people think Art's my brother. They think we're lovers, too. Art, we get a lot, of com a lot of comments that, like, couple goals, you guys are great together. It's like, hashtag no, couple. hashtag couple goals. It's like, hey, we're, we're not couple, but thank you. I appreciate it anyway. So we got a bunch of great videos coming out soon. We filmed a bunch the last... About five days. We have a videos all about coconut milk and coconut products at the store, about the sugar epidemic in the grocery store and in our country and what we can substitute with these sugary products. So I identify the sugar-laden products. I give you alternatives. We have videos about, uh, what else? Uh, I'm trying to think. We have a ton. Oh, produce. Produce buying tips. Very, very good stuff. Okay, so these are pretty much done. I'm gonna pop these in the oven after I wash my hands. To answer the question that just flew what past me, given all these comments. Okay, so these are look perfect. Desi, are they approved? Perfect, 
Okay, so according to our cookbook, bake for 20 to 23 minutes until GBD, which means what are? Golden brown and delicious. And there's so much butter in here. Even if you over bake it just a smidgens, you're gonna be fine. So let me put, there's 15 minutes on that one. I'll put 20 minutes on that and we'll check it. Perfect. Okie dokie. In this pot, the vapors coming out of the pressure are delicious. We have three kinds of pasture raised pork. We have chilies, garlic, uh, beer, bone broth. We have so much good stuff. And once again, we're using that Thrive Market uh, pasture raised pork. The link in the description box, once again, I gotta remind you, takes you to the pork bundle. Uh, thrivemarket.com slash Bobby. Try the pork bundle. You get the bacon, you get pork chops, you get ground pork, you get breakfast sausage. You get the $20 shopping credit when you sign up for your year-long membership. But if you don't like it or you just want to try the pork out, you cancel the membership, you get your money back, but you still get to keep that $20 credit and you're going to love it. I'm telling you, I love that. I love my collagen peptides. I love my Thrive Market coconut milk, just like I like the one from Tra Trader Joe's. I love my ghee. And I love getting that big box of pork. It's so darn tasty. There's some questions here about nonstick cookware. As yeah. long as you're not using sharp tools in your nonstick mm -hmm. and cutting it up and scuffing it up and like putting it under too high temperature is fine. Just once they start to get a little weathered, then you want to toss it and get a new one. Exactly. Well said. Mine's dirty right now. But nonstick, you want to get a decent quality nonstick. If you go to the Amazon Flav City shop page, amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City, this is not one of them, but this is a very decent uh, nonstick pan from Henkel's. The key is not to use metal on this. You always want to use silicone or wood, something that won't scrap, scratch, it, scratch it up. You never want to put it over high heat here or above 400 degrees in the oven. And once it starts to look worn and torn, toss it out and get a new one, all right? They don't even use Teflon anymore. Teflon's illegal. They use other substances. And listen, certain recipes, certain cookery like eggs just work so darn well in a nonstick pan. I can't cook eggs in a cast iron pan. They're going to stick. Okay. Let's do a little bit of silicone, housekeeping. Silicone uh, is pretty uh, heat safe to some high temperatures. Yes. I don't have that Plastic, no. But like silicone spatulas, uh, this is great too. This is a silicone oxo spatula. It's really, really flexible here, but it has a nice uh, kind of like give to it where you can flip stuff. But this, see, it never frays. If this was plastic, that would melt and get nasty. This is the OXO small spatula. I love this thing. It's on my Amazon shop page because you can flip almost anything and it won't give. I love it. Whereas this big one here, see how flimsy that is? I don't like it. No, I'd rather use this one for pancakes. This, it would work for pancakes, and if you're not using nonstick, a fish spatula like this is a must. Okay. Yeah, Lunar New Year. Happy <coughs> Lunar New Year. So Lunar New Year is tomorrow, huh? Andrea might, got the might cookbook. Be there, though. Like, oh, yeah, for China. Yes, go ahead. Who cleans the kitchen? Um, I clean the kitchen, but I recently uh, have a maid come over Monday through Friday for an hour in the afternoon. And she cleans because I was spending an hour cleaning up every day and it was taking away from my work. So she's nice enough to come over and help me uh, clean now because I, I just couldn't do it anymore. Right. But now we'll do a little cleanup together. Got 1,100 people hanging out here, right? I ordered and already have used the peeler. That's, the peeler is really good, right? This OXO peeler. So, Art, right, check out. I want you to show my drawer here. Show some of my favorite Flav City items while I do a little bit of cleaning here. So, Art, walk everyone through some of the stuff in there. So you've got the tong section here. You've got wooden utensils. Is this olive wood, Bobby, or not? No. That is, uh, okay. that is Italian olive wood, okay, yes. Yeah. The various uh, spatulae. I don't know if that's a real plural term or not. <laughs> it is now. Various other wooden utensils here. Some with silicone attachments on them. We got more silicone. This is the uh, perforated spoon. That's right. Bobby, Not the Bobby spider, like, like I said. He likes to call it a uh, spoon with holes in it. <laughs> Ladle. Perforated is a big word for me, Eric. Gotta have, yeah, it's a big word. Gotta have it. Of course, you always need another whisk. 
a uh, small offset spatula, mini offset spatula, aka the word small. Uh, what was that question? Show us an up close of that can opener, please. That can opener in here? Or is oh, it's over here. Here. I'll get there in a second. Okay. I'll uh, finish. We got a portion scooper here, a disher. And we just picked up 10 pounds from Anthony. 10 Dell, pounds? Big oh! Love from the House of Commons, London. Thank wow, you. Wow, thank you, Anthony. What's the House of Commons? I don't even remember. It's uh, part of Parliament. You're in Parliament the right House now? House of Lords and the House of, uh, House of Commons. Who's working in Parliament on a Friday night at uh, midnight? Are you making new laws right now? Working on Brexit, maybe? <laughs> it's supposed to be done by the end of the month. Yeah, that's what I heard. So, okay, I probably showcased enough of that drawer, don't you think? But thank you for the super chat. Here's the can opener. So you stuff. make sure I don't miss any questions here. Like looking at the questions for a full-time job, like having to Yeah, it is. Seriously, we need a moderator. Screen. So this is the uh, can opener. Yeah, that's from Sheffin. It's on the uh, Amazon uh, Flav City shop page. Once again, Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. it's where? On this side? Uh, no, it's right on the tip. Oh, I just took out water in there. Whatever, stainless steel, sound magnetic. Not ferrous. Yeah. Whole shopping. So, okay. Let's see, what other questions are there? <clears throat> what can you say about Dexter Russell knives? Do you recommend that? Which one? Cooks? Dexter Russell So, knives. here. No, Art, show the knives I recommend. Yeah, we need to work on the smell of it. Well, A big we're time. Still on I got that. an email over to Sergey and Larry. Tom has lost 170 pounds. Months. Are you 107? 170. Wow. Way to go. Tommy boy. So, Amazing. Shun knives are awesome. I love them. Bobby loves them. He's got a whole stash of them here. Um, some also non-shun, but uh, here's a nice one. This is what I do, Art, by the way, over here. When I want to clean my blender, I want to make sure all that gunk comes off the bottom. Hot, soapy water goes in there. And just whether it's a blender or a food processor, I like to uh, blend it really tight. This is the coolest thing at Thermomix. It's like, release the hounds. And that makes sure that you get all that crud off the blade. I basically made a soap latte right there. Sounds amazing. It sounds delicious. And Jasmine Cleveland just gave you $2. Jasmine. How can buy tickets to the Chicago meetup? They're, well, they're going to be free, but as soon as I have the event landing page live, and by me, I mean Desi, um, I'll announce it on Instagram stories. It's not ready. Give us another, I'd say, week. But you have to follow me on the Flav City Instagram stories. And there'll be a swipe up. It's, oh, I'm sorry. It's not going to be free. It's like $35. So I have to pay for the space and everything like that. But you're not only going to get uh, to eat. You're going to go home with uh, free beef. And uh, you're going to eat a ton of keto paleo food. So it's going to be worth it. It's going to be a really, really good deal. Taylor, we made sure the phone was charged to 100% when we started, but honestly, right now we're flying blind. We don't know what the percentage is. And oh, we can't check? Uh, It'll warn us when we get to like 10, I think. I don't. I hope so. Yeah. Well, I hope we don't get down that far. Well, I luckily I got the iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max, so I think the battery's pretty good, right? Yeah. But we can't plug anything in because we no. have a microphone that's going in there. No. Uh, what do you use to peel garlic? Sometimes he just smashes it with a knife. Sometimes yeah. Sometimes he doesn't peel it. He just uses the microplane. And Correct. You don't have to worry about if you're trying to like my bouquet of microplane. Mince it, yeah. Yeah. Peeling garlic, I'll just take a knife and I'll smash it and take the paper off like that. Anna Couture lost 305 pounds, started in 2001, and keeping keto. Wait, wait. 305? 305 since 2001. Oh my God. Way to go, Anna. That's amazing. High five to Anna, and high five to you. You just made some of the cleaning go really quick here. So thank you for that. We got another See, bowl here. Sure Cindy and Fonte, dollar ninety nine. Cindy, loud, how loud is the thermomix? Um, it's actually not as loud as my old KitchenAid. Not at all. Nikki Castro, four ninety nine. I single person and have a hard time cooking a lot, but I'm trying <clears> to cook a few simple things. I will play your videos while I shop. LOL. Here's Thank, what you got to do if you you're single. This is everyone. your favorite word: meal prep. Cook once, make five or seven meals for the week. That way you don't have to cook every night. So these recipes in the book, right? We'll make, this recipe makes three meals because seafood only lasts for three days in the fridge. This will make five days uh, stuffed uh, meatloaf. This will make five days, known as keto meatballs. This will make five days low-carb noodle stir-fry with peanut dressing and lettuce cups. This will make five days crispy skin 
uh, chicken with Alabama white barbecue sauce. This will make five days. Fennel spice butter chicken with dairy-free cream spinach. Meal prepping is the answer if you are single or don't have a lot of time, right? Brad says, can't you use the never-ending solar power coming through that kitchen window to power the iPhone? <coughs> with a smiley face. That's a good point, because it's always sunny in Chicago. Remember that. <laughs> or on your block, at least. Yeah. It's actually been so dark and so depressing in Chicago. It's really horrible. Mark mm -hmm. Roger says, our kiddos, Adelaide and Liam, say hi, Bobby, from Ontario, Canada. Nice. I was going to say. Hi, right back to. Uh, Adelaide and Leo, hello. Those kind of names make me think they might Liam. be like, uh, Liam. Liam might yeah. be like uh, Australian or something. So I have raw pork. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to use this. I have raw pork, yeah, or Scottish. I'm going to put this straight in the dishwasher because I don't want this to touch anything else. And I'll run the dishwasher later on. Where did you get the spice bottles from? Desi just got these spice bottles on Amazon. And check it out. I love them because they come with labels. But, Irish but Canadian. Oh, very good. They, I used to have the tins, but they took up too much real estate. These are super thin. I haven't added this to my Amazon shop page. I need to do that. And then we have other stuff here for whole uh, stuff like uh, cardamom, or this is coriander. Up here are my salts, right? This is uh, Hawaiian red lava salt. I had Redmond real salt. But I really like Celtic salt. Yeah. Okay. Somebody lost audio. I still have Celtic salt here. Celtic gray salt, Celtic kosher salt, the Himalayan pink salt here. The big one from Costco is great. Um, I have charcoal salt here. Uh, really when great you stuff. Use that one? You know what? It's a finishing just to flake over a steak or something. Okay. Right? So, and the only reason why I have this is for educational purposes that we never use canola oil chemical spray. We always use avocado oil non propellant spray. And then I love my coffees and teas here. I only have coffee on the weekend, and I've been actually not drinking straight up coffee. I've been drinking Laird uh, Superfood Insta Fuel, which is coffee with coconut milk and uh, coconut sugar. Loose sleep tea like we talked about. Nighttime, this is sleeping tea with um, lavender, not lavender, uh, chamomile and other mint and stuff like that. So if somebody was tuning in right now, they're not. But yes. if they were, and they're like, wait a second, I thought this is a cooking show. I don't see any <laughs> cooking. Explain what's going on here. Okay, if for some reason you're like, yo, what's the deal? Are we getting a kitchen tour? No. In this pressure cooker here, we have pork chili. Keto pork chili with three kinds of pork. We have uh, bacon and onions in there. In the oven, take a look at We have keto, oh my God, keto red lobster cheddar bay biscuits. And that's what's going on. And you're just helping me clean right now and hang out. We're also doing all the cooking tonight with our Thrive Market pasture raised pork. If you didn't see earlier, check out, let's go to the freezer here, Art. Careful behind you. you. We have the Thrive Market ground pasture pork. We have pork chops from them. But this is the piece de resistance, the Thrive Sugar-Free Bacon, pasture-raised from White Oaks Farms. We have, this is not quite pasture, but it's organic chicken breasts that are delicious. And then we also have, this, these are amazing. That's what I was looking for. These bone-in pork chops have so much marbling and fat, they literally are so juicy they fall apart in your mouth. They're so good. So that comes in the pork bundle too. How do you get the pork bundle? Use the link in the description box that I created just for you guys, or go to thrivemarket.com slash Bobby, and you get, it takes you to the pork bundle, <clears throat> sign up for a year long membership, uh, get a $20 shopping credit when you do that, become a member. If you don't like it, you get a refund of that yearly membership, but you get to keep that $20 and you get to keep that pork, and it's so darn good. Thank you, Lunar Designs, for answering our dog's question for me. Exactly correct. iPhone, <laughs> iPhone 11. Pro Bobby, Max. what's your favorite brand of ghee? Okay, well, I'm not trying to be like, you know, a homeboy here, but the Thrive Market one's great. Um, Fourth and Heart is very good, but it's expensive. But I'm telling you, I just got, how many did I get here? Look, all right, not one, not two, not but three. But three. This ghee is organic grass-fed, but the flavor is like movie theater butter. I would add that to your cart with your pork, and I would add this, the grass-fed plain collagen. Put that in your coffee or tea. That's the kind of stuff you want. 
right? Because we use ghee a ton. I just didn't want to use ghee for my chili because there's so much fat that's going to render off that pork. We don't need uh, the ghee in there. I thought butter not... makes everything better. It does. It's a good point. And I love ghee because if you're lactose intolerant, if you're casein sensitive, you can eat uh, the ghee because all the casein and lactose is burned away in the milk solids. Ooh, and all you have left is milk fat. So does it actually say oh here? Oh my ghee. OM ghee. See, look, <clears throat> lactose free. It's also casein free. So for all my uh, intolerant friends out there, you can have that. All right, guys, it's been 35 minutes. Normally I would go 45. Do you guys think we should just kill it now or should we go another five, 10 minutes? Do we, kill it? Okay. Rose needs a bath. So heat off, but it's gonna keep cooking, right? I'm gonna give it five minutes, then I'll release the hounds and let it vent. Do you want a salad with dinner or no? No? Wrap it up, says or this. Oh, Maggie. Oh, I'm Gee. Oh, Maggie. <clears throat> okay. says kill it now. Rhonda says go another five. I know. Huh. So, casein is not necessarily bad for you, but it's a milk protein that's very hard to digest which is why some people drink A2 milk because it has the A2 casein, which is much easier to, uh, to digest. <clears throat> Bobby, how did you become so knowledgeable on food material? Just research, right? I want to know everything that I put in my body and I've been cooking for as long as I can remember and I just wanted to know all the ingredients, all the information out there. Bobby, are you planning on doing any Aldi hauls soon? We love Aldi. Well, we did the one a couple weeks ago for 2020, but yes, we're going to go back there I actually want to do a haul and a recipe from there. I want to do budget stuff. I want to do budget hauls and budget healthy recipes. What does collagen peptides do for you on keto? Well, they are keto approved, but collagen peptides are a great supplement to the collagen in your body. Do you know I'm 42 years old? As you get older, the natural collagen in your body goes away, and this is a great supplement for that. It's also great for your joints, your hair, teeth, nails, gut, skin, all that good stuff. Grass-fed, pasture-raised collagen is a great supplement for your body. I would start drinking it even in your 20s, right? Yeah, I know the flu is going around so bad. I was sick the first 10 days of January, not the flu. Then Desi got sick, then Rose got sick. Now we got this coronavirus from China. Pretty scary. And now the second case is in Chicago, of course, so I'm not going anywhere. Is Guinness beer uh, keto-friendly? Uh, no, it's not keto. We put so little in there, it doesn't matter. So now, this is completely locked down, so nothing can happen, but there's a ton of pressure in here. So what I'm gonna do is put my rag, right? Dun, 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 Pressure! Over the top like that. How is that timing? Oh, oh this, this looks amazing. Get Rose through the smoke there. Rose, let's get a dramatic shot of you. Ooh, Rose, look at you. You look under pressure. Dun 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 Let's kick it. Hot Rose? Ooh. And I probably want to take the pork out and mash it a little bit and get the pork off the bones. Right, Rose? That's not good. Are the cheddar biscuits ready? Nope. They have another at least two and a half minutes. So I don't want to open the oven. Do you know every time you open the door of the oven, enough hot air escapes that it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to build back up. So this is what the light is for. But look, can you see? I can tell they do not have the color I want, but they look absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna keep waiting. I don't think they'll be ready in two minutes. I think they'll be ready in five AW minutes. AW is making a request for a future live stream. A whole chicken in a pressure cooker. I've done it twice, but don't really know how to season best. I don't like rosemary or thyme, so I'm lost. Oh, interesting. A whole, I've never done a whole chicken in there. I've done chicken thighs and stuff, but that's interesting. All right, Art, step over to my office. I want you to see what's inside this bubbling goodness. And another reason why I like a good quality safe pressure cooker is because I push this button here and it pops right off, right? Oh my God, look inside there, Art. Hoo hoo hoo! There it is. OMG. Dang. That looks really good. It smells really good. So I want to fish out the pork because we have to mash it. So what I'm going to do, mash now here's a question for you guys. If you wanted to thicken up 
a chili or something on keto. Yeah, we're sorry, Maggie. It's not working yet. How, how would you do it? I actually don't really do that normally, but how would you do it? I mean, almond flour wouldn't really work. Xanthan gum could, but you got to be careful because it could get very uh, gummy, right? But do you have any better ideas? I'm just kind of curious. Cheryl Taylor is a female bodybuilder and needs more recipes for not dry chicken breast for her meal prep. How about this? And this is really, really humbling. If you Google search how to cook chicken breast or you type in how to cook chicken breast on YouTube, my video comes up number one on YouTube and number one on Google. How cool is that? Out of all the recipes, I have the, I'm gonna hook you up, Cheryl. You gotta pound it thin. You gotta cook it in a hot cast iron pan and that way it cooks evenly. We made that video, uh, I wanna say almost a year and a half, two years ago, and it ranked number one and still does after all this time. So look at this, you guys. The pork, super tender. Now, even though it's tender, anytime something comes out of a pressure cooker, it has to rest for about a few minutes, why, Art? Why does the meat have to rest? Uh, by the way, that chicken video is how live I found out about you. Oh, cool. Uh, right now, there's just a lot of pressure in that chicken, and uh, <clears throat> if you cut into it, the juice, or chicken, the pork. Yeah. That's the other white meat. That's right. Uh, the juices will just, like, fly out of there. Yeah. They need to, like, you know, get back down to earth. Right. I mean, it's not a steak, but more importantly than the juices, I think, for this kind of meat, is that it's just really hot and really tense right now. Think about being under pressure above 212. It's tight. If you give it a few minutes, it's going to chill, and it's going to get so tender, but it already is. Like super duper tender. So I want to mash this. And then look at the broth here, Art. So I, I do think we should thicken it up somehow. Yeah, some people are mentioning uh, ways to do that. Well, just give me some recommendations. I, I would like saw, to thicken it. I thought it was arrowroot. Well, that's not keto, though. And you can't put beans in there. And masa wouldn't be keto either. No. I know a little bit of xanthan would work. Really nice. 20 minutes until Johnny arrives. Oh, I, I gotta call Johnny. Let me call John. Can I use your phone, Art? Yeah. Here. Gotta call John. We'll call him on speakerphone. 4.2 million views on that chain. It has that many now? Holy cow. I thought it was 2 million and change. Wow. And then someone made a, a GIF of it and it went viral on, uh, on, uh, I don't know if you have John's phone. It went viral on like Twitter because someone made some joke about the camera co man coming in and eating the chicken. It was crazy. Let's go speakerphone. Six ten, perfect. <clears throat> That's my chicken breast video, Taylor. If you just search chicken breast on YouTube, your homeboy comes up number one. Where's Johnny boy? Chickpea flour, coconut flour, gelatin. Chia seeds. Uh, chia seeds are going to make it a weird kind of texture, I feel like. Weird. You use Desi's phones. He might, like, not recognize the number. Yeah. I... You want me to call? Yeah, call John. Oh. So, I'm, first of all, I'm going to mash this. The monster mash. Okay, so now, look at that. You guys, how do you know it's tender? Look at that. Forget about it. Look at the bone. Look, completely. We talk about stuff falling off the bone. Give that to your dog. There ain't no, there ain't no meat on there. Skip Smith wrote your uh, reverse steer, made your reverse sear steak tonight. Ooh, nice. Anytime you got a thick steak, I like a good reverse sear. Same flaxseed meal, maybe? The no. Reduction would thicken it somewhat. Yeah, a little bit. I just, I don't want to reduce too much. I think maybe a touch of xanthan. Can you think of a good way to thicken up our uh, chili babe or no? Tapioca flour? Yeah, but it's not really keto. It's paleo. Hello. Hey, Dad. Yeah. How's it going? Good. You want to come for dinner? No, it's still the lawyer's horseshit. Yeah. Oh, is it? I had some, some cabbage soup left over right there. Oh, okay. Sounds good. All right, take it easy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> According to Johnny P, the weather is horse duty out there. <laughs> <laughs> Lunar designs just wrote demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> no, hopefully not. All right? <laughs> Here's what I want to do, actually. I want to puree the base because that'll help thicken it a little bit. I don't want to get my Thermomix dirty yes, again. If you saw the camera shaking, that was because I was laughing. 
So let's just do this. This might thicken it a little bit. Get some of those tomatoes and, uh, right? And then I think, I think we should thicken it a touch. What do you think, Art? Somebody say tomato paste. Uh, I don't want to do that. And guys, when I have a stick blender like this, I like to clean it immediately. Just put hot soapy water in a bowl and blitz it. That way it doesn't get stuck or anything like that. And then I can just Mashed pop up the Uh, you know, cauliflower flour would work well. Do you have any? No, I don't I have any. Buy it. Even though it's one of the ingredients. It's like of, one of the uh, trends of 2020. It's one of the trends of 2020, according to that article online. See, clean Heavy as a whistle. cream. That wouldn't really thicken it. it yeah, that nice wouldn't really thicken it. Mouthful. Oh, is the uh, biscuit? Are the biscuits ready? Oh, they're done. Yeah, look at this. Psyllium husk. Psyllium husk. Uh, I'm a little hesitant to do that. In the meantime, just look at this. Oh. How about carrageenan? <laughs> I just oh, I made a mess. That's what happens when you're really cooking. So second time I did that. Let me clean this up here. What about if you grind chicharrones to thicken it? Oh, who thought of that? That was Leonor Michel. Well, that's an interesting idea, Leonor. I just want to clean while I go here. Don't burn your book. You know what? Or mashed carrots. I, yeah. Chicharrones might. Look what, well, yeah, look what I have right here. I have chicharrones in the closet, but I also or, have. Or uh, Lucy says sacrifice a biscuit. A few people are saying sacrifice a biscuit. Not a but I have pork rinds too. So let's do this. We got to bring it to chickpea flour. Yeah, that's not keto. It's actually Three not. Potatoes. Sorry, it's not keto. too bad. I think to be honest, potato. like a quarter cup of this might do the trick. Live are saying chicharron, 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 chicharron. I'm gonna put this over here so it doesn't burn art. Move yeah, the iPhones away from like that. Ground flaxseed. Now we're vetoing uh, that idea for now. Yeah. Okay. Let's just sample this uh, pork in the meantime. powder. Mmm, so good. All right, come back here, Art. Let's experiment. Okay. First, let's check for seasoning. Art is getting hungry, Skip Smith. Everyone's getting hungry. I'm killed yeah, off. But especially Art. Cause... Especially Art. How long have we been on so far, Art? Uh, 102 minutes. 102 minutes? Wow. So Just over an hour and a half? Can we do the bolognese? You know, this isn't that bad, you guys, to be honest. Let's just check. You put the meat in there. Yeah, it's not that bad. That puree I just did of the stick blender. Let's check for seasoning here, audio. Ooh, <clears throat> ooh. There's a good depth of flavor, but it needs salt, number one. But the teacher runs are salty too, so let's just put some gum. Yeah, that would do it too. If this doesn't work with the uh, chicha, I'm gonna add that. Chicha, <laughs> chicha, chicharone. So I'll put like a third of a cup in there. Quinoa. Ah, uh, that's, yeah, that's not keto. This actually works. I can see Gelatin. How does that look, Art? Fuck it. I think that's pretty good. You have to <clears throat> cook it when you add that? <clears throat> you don't have to cook bring, it. Bring it to a boil or something like that? I don't think so. I mean, I, see how thick it's gonna be? I think we should definitely, uh, well, there's no like starch in here, okay. but we should definitely heat it a little bit. Yeah, boil it up. But I think it looks pretty good. But let's, let me check these uh, chicha. So I think... Jacques is asking that's powdered pork rinds? Yeah. Yeah. Jack, maybe. These guys sent it to me, but if you don't want to be, if you want to save some money, crush up your own. Oh my God, those are so good. I love chicharron. Just get a bag of like 4505 and uh, grind them up yourself. Come on over, Maggie. Maggie wants Johnny's spot. Hey, I don't blame you. Yeah, there's an open spot now, you guys. Should we get the meat back in there now, Art? I think we should. Should we get that back to a boil first? Why not? Yeah. Why not? And then for fixins, we can do some green onions. I don't have any sour cream. I was going to get some plant-based yogurt, but I forgot. Pork on pork on pork. Oh my God, that's the fourth pork. There's chicharrones, bacon, pork shoulder, and baby back, baby back, baby back the ribs. fourth pork. The fourth pork. Oh, like this a will be perfect. Name, isn't it? The fourth pork. I don't know about that. This is going to be perfect, you guys. If you I ever have... have like an Emerald Live type show. That'd be the name of your house. <laughs> the fourth pork. I'll put some of this. This is that Kite Hill 
dairy-free yogurt or dairy-free uh, cream it? cheese. I'll put that on top of our chili. Oh, okay. This will be our sour cream-ish, right? Perfect. That stuff is expensive. Yeah, Brad says the fact that you have four porks, that makes up for the two slices of bacon that you threw out. <laughs> Thank or, you. Or, or no, the two that you only used. Yes. Thank you. Well, Brad, if you follow me on Flav City Instagram, you'll see tomorrow morning I will use almost all of this Thrive Market pasture-raised pork bacon for breakfast, you guys. Come on. Thanks uh, for watching, Virginia Beach. Okay. Right? Days of pork. <laughs> Gosh, I hope we have enough battery in this phone. <laughs> I'm Chicharron. surprised the freezer it's, stays uh, cold with it being checked. Well, I'm actually, Art and I are going to go to Costco and I'm going to get a chest freezer that can handle uh, temperatures to zero. We're going to put it on my patio. And if the temperature happens to go below, Art says we can just unplug it and it's going to hold the insulation because it's so darn cold outside anyway. Art says that with a question mark at the end, not saying that he's fully confident that that's the way to go, but it seems like a good idea. Yeah. So all these maple bacon is not great because it's commercially fed, grain-fed, factory-farmed pork, whereas the stuff we're using today is the opposite of that. Uh, if you're going to only shop at Aldi, the Never Any is the best one to get there. But yeah, I have no more room. That's why I want to get a second house, because I want to have a second freezer in the garage. But Art found this at Costco. I was so happy because I, I couldn't find one on Amazon. It's only 150 bucks. We're going to get it for sure. All right, so Art, take a look. <laughs> Pork to the fourth power. I love yeah, it. Yeah, this looks good, you guys. Math jokes. I'm happy with this. And I think once it cools down a little bit, it'll thicken up. But I think, let me check it for seasoning again. Because if it, um, if it is not too salty, I'll add a little more chicha for the win. Excuse what me. What was that quote from that one episode, Steak Loves Beef? Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was talking about salting. That was in the steak video, Four Ways to Cook a Steak. Steak Loves Beef. <laughs> you love having you watching, Joanna. Woo, lordy. Okay, it's needs getting salt. really good. It needs salt though, right? Um, it needs a little bit of salt, but you know what? I'd rather just add more pork rinds. So I'll do this. One, two. May the pork be with you. And then one for you guys. Open. And also with you. Um, 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 um. Okay, I'll do it. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Not good. All right, I'm going to take all the dirty spoons and get rid of them. I don't want Art to see those. Thank you. <laughs> and then now we can add the pork back in. That should be the name of the recipe. Something with like, uh, let's take it off the heat. Let's come over here, Art. Pork to the fourth power chili. That's got a, a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah, man. So we'll take this. We'll put that in there. So guys, the cool thing about chili is that it gets better on the second and third day. So if you want to make this for the Super Bowl, make it on Saturday or Friday. The, flavor, the flavors will marinate and get even better. Alan, girl, I have not watched the new episode of Curb, but my dad's like dying for me to see it because he's already seen it and he wants to talk about it. Oh yeah, we haven't seen it either. Don't, don't spoil it. Now look at that. Now, Porkopolis chili. Ooh, who said that? That was Brad Parham. Brad, great Down call. Atlanta, I think. Great call. 4G pork chili. Hot Lana. 4G? No, we're all about 5G these days. Pork delicious. Okay, pork. guys, that looks really good now. That thickened up so proper. Imagine that with this uh, Cheddar Bay biscuit. I don't have to imagine. We can do it. Yeah, pork rinds or chicharrones. Yeah, that works deep, great. Deep fried pork skins. I'm actually porkified. That I'm actually ecstatic with the way that worked. I wish someone would make pasture raised pork rinds. To me, that'd be really, really cool. Okay. Pork delicious. Wow. It's like this the song. worked out great. I wish I could update the uh, cookbook recipe to say if it's too watery, add a cup of chicharron. Maybe so, for the next print, I'll do so that. So, do you think you'd put a biscuit and then pour the chili over, or would you put the chili, the biscuit, on top of the chili? Um, I would probably put the biscuit on top of the chili, yeah. but it's totally up to you guys, right? Sherry House says hashtag feed art. That's exactly what's about Maggie to come D up say here. That earlier too. Let's get all the fixings. So feed I need art talking the important stuff here. Exactly. So let's Are put McDonald's it... Big Macs healthy? Yes. <laughs> it's uh, Flavor City does not approve that statement. Diet food. It's a good source of calories. Okay, so that's ready. Let's get. Should we do some parsley or no? 
Somebody said that earlier. You're going to put some parsley on that. Why I not? I don't know if I've seen parsley on chili. Well, I don't have cilantro right now. I, to be honest, I rarely have cilantro. We just the don't use it. in the oven. They're right here. Yeah, they're right there, Somebody Holmes. Been... Let's just cut a little bit of parsley. Remember make the Hilda, parsley hack? Hilda happy. Keep it covered. Make Hilda happy. Uh, and then we have the dairy-free cream cheese. And then, oh, oh do you want some extra work. cheddar on yours, Art? Cheddar? Yeah, do you want some more? Yeah, you gotta have cheddar with chili. I should have, I already put the box grater in the sink. Darn it. Manually mince it up your nose. <laughs> no, you don't know. Oh, what, they'll put it in the, uh, in the uh, thermo. You could, but wouldn't that make even a bigger mess? Clean it. <laughs> How about this? I think I, I have. I don't need to have more cheese if it's gonna be too much work. No, no, I wanna do this right, Art. That's why you buy a bag of pre-grated cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here. It's not soaking. Let me just wash it real quick. Yeah, Lyra. Make Hilda happy. It's all about Hilda. It's all about Barry, Hilda. Barry says that parsley will ruin it. Oh, I don't know about that, Holmes. Take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, where's my cheese? I put it away. You can do it what? Cincinnati style and eat, eat the chili with uh, spaghetti noodles? Are you serious? Are you serious? Tell me if I'm right or wrong, folks. I think Cincinnati style, you eat your chili with uh, spaghetti noodles. I didn't know about that. Where'd my I, cheese I go? So. Someone find my cheese, will you? Cheese. Well, yeah, the only thing we got here is the konjac noodles, but I don't think yeah. they're using konjac. That just in, seems, uh, I mean, I, I guess it wouldn't be, almost like a bolognese, it wouldn't be terrible, but where'd my cheese go? Oh, here, Jesse and I are gonna use this. This is the vegan cheese. Yep, I'm right about the noodles. What's that? I'm right about the spaghetti. Really? That's yeah. so interesting. Cincinnati style. There's like an institution there for chili. I forgot the name I of the You know what? Now that you mention it, I do... Cheese is near the sink. Someone really knows that? That's what somebody said. Taylor said it, and I thought... Skyline chili, that's right. I never oh, Skyline. I think there's another live stream where I ask the people, the people that question. You know, oh my God, I wonder if it's in here. I wrapped it in plastic wrap. No, I didn't leave it in there. I thought oh, you left it there, too. Where the heck is this thing? The cheese is on the counter. Well, we got videotape to go back to if we need to. It's like a security camera. No, I just washed the cheese grater. We're, we got to do some well, cheese well, now. The fans will help us. Flav City Fam. Let's see. You put it in plastic wrap. We have I did put it in plastic wrap. Hmm. You're the, sure you didn't leave it in the drawer? The curious case of the missing cheese. Cheese is on the biscuit. <laughs> hmm. This is so strange. Zoom out so we can help look, okay? <laughs> I've All got right. chairs right behind me that I'm going to, like, trip over. This in is a bin. This is goofy. Like no, garbage bin. Buy the knives. That's what Maggie B says. I might. Are you messing with us, or is that really there? Oh, let me do one more look since I'm Somebody here. Somebody said freezer. Freezer. In the Thrive Box. In the Thrive Box? No Did way. it go in the freezer when you're looking at bacon? Let's look. And apparently Southgate Chili is a close second behind Skyline. Mmm, no. Yeah. The missing queso. Missing. Oh, Five city and the mi missing queso. <laughs> That's like a band name. <laughs> Go look, Art. Okay. All right, well, if I can't find it, then. This is a dilemma. Wow, this is crazy. No. Is this like when I was on a uh, utensil duty, like <laughs> the drawer under the sink? Okay, now people are starting to. All right. Well, there's no cheese, around. guys. Sorry. Did we use it all? No, I wrapped it up. I literally remember that. Rose this took is... it. This is so strange. Check in the spice cabinet. <laughs> I'll get checked. All right, you might have vegan cheese instead. Well, that's fine. <laughs> weird. Find herb drawer. That is so weird. You check the freezer, right? I did check the freezer. Here, come in the guys. Come look in here. Because you were cutting the cheese and it it's just wrapped in. It's next. Plastic to, it's wrap. Not next to the sink, is it? Oh, here it is. Where was it? Where was it? It was in the produce. Oh drawer ah, so all these folks that were trying to go under the sink i think they were just you're leading not, us on not, a you're wild not any chili i think they were just leading us on a wild goose trip to be honest i think you guys are just like oh it's by the thrive box by the there's the beef <laughs> okay let's grate some cheese for arthur Does wendy's have a like one of those not beef burgers uh where's the, where's the not beef i know burger king has one i know Baskin Robin or uh, Dunkin' Donuts has one now because of Snoop Dogg. I saw a commercial. Okay. Okay. Now let's plate Where's this up. Where's the beef? Mm. Okay. Auckland, here we go. Auckland, New Zealand, in the house. Oh, nice. Welcome. I want to go there one day. All right. Look also, at this. Also, remember, Rose needs her bath. I know. 
So now that it's actually cooled down, you guys, this is the perfect consistency for chili. This is so darn exciting. Let's fill up a bowl for art. And tomorrow, this is just gonna be so much better. Jillian, I do, I use tortilla chips too for the- For chili. what? For chili. Somebody said I use tortilla chips ah. for chili. I'm like, I do too. Okay, so now some green onions there and some parsley for art. Get in my belly. Some cheese. Do you want a scoop of the uh, cream cheese too? Give me a little bit. A little sh shtickle. Let's make a canal for a, a football for fart art. It's going to fart. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't take much, you guys. And then a uh, biscuit, right? You want a biscuit on top or on the side? Uh, we got to do it in. Yeah, I like this one. Uh, I'm almost done. Babe, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. You guys, there it is. We just made from start to finish pork topless for pork chili in the pressure cooker with Cheddar Bay biscuits. Look at the biscuits, by the way. Cheddar Bay keto biscuits, right? So now it's time for that part of the show that we Hold all it love. So people can see it though. We wanted to do the uh, hero shot. This thing? Oh. oh my God, this is amazing. Chili and biscuit. Give us some thumbs up. We're at four ninety nine. We got to crack five hundred. I want to see five hundred. Come on, we got There's five hundred. We need more than that. Oh my God, you guys. We need biscuits. If eating it the next day, do you leave the biscuit cold or do you reheat? Uh, reheat, for sure. But not in the microwave too long. Otherwise, what happened to Art? What happened to you? Butter volcano. Yeah. Because these biscuits, oh my God. You won't even miss the gluten. Oh, the carbs. Oh my God, it's crazy. All right. Hashtag. Where's my uh, spoon? Speed Art. Big boy spoon right there. I'm going to grab the camera and then Rose needs her bath. Okay, everyone, here he is again. Arthur T. Almacy, the third. Yo, yo. There he is. This is the best part of the show right here. I mean, that, that just looks From sexy. From my perspective, I get to eat it. Yeah, it's probably very hot, so be careful. Yeah. Oh, crap. That's yeah, hard. don't even touch the bowl. <laughs> this is the part of the show where Art burns his mouth. I will take that risk. Maybe. Yeah, cool it down for sure, homie. Here's to feeling good all the time. Yeah, Rose is almost 100%. Thank you for asking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? That's good. I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, Taylor, it is. I'm going to try to get some of the biscuit. Oh, yeah, together forever. Not like overflow? Uh, pork panko, it's tough to find at the grocery store. Just buy a bag of panko or uh, pork rinds and crush them up in a uh, food processor or a paper bag with a rolling pin. I feel bad for all of you who can't be here to eat this. This is good. Yeah. But make it yourself. It is good. Uh, the alcohol, I'd say most of it evaporated, yes. And came it, out. it doesn't taste like beer. No, for sure. You cannot taste yeah. the beer. But it added a nice, rich, chocolatey flavor, which played well with the cocoa powder. What spices did you put in here? I don't remember. Ancho, chili powder, smoked paprika, cumin, and oregano. That's delicious. it. Delicious. Delicious. Right? And the, uh, the dried chipotles. Boom. Those Amazing. Amazing. And the dynamite goes boom, boom. right? That's good. So I'm going to fix up some more, you guys. I want you to make this at home. Really, really important. Get that Thrive Market oh, pasture-raised pork at your house. You guys need it. Once again, in the description box, thrivemarket.com slash Bobby. Use my promo code. It takes you to the pork landing page. I want you to have the best quality pasture-raised pork to make this recipe so darn good. It's in the keto cookbook, which is available on Amazon. Two live streams this week. We had a video drop today about Asian condiments. We got video tomorrow, video Sunday. The Flav City family is rolling along the month of January. We got 11 more months to go. There's so much cool stuff gonna happen. So guys, amazing time hanging out. It's time for Rose to have her bath. It's time for us to eat a proper dinner. And then I gotta go edit some videos for tomorrow. So we'll see you soon. Until then, Art and I leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, guys. See y'all. Super, super fun.